Mango in the house. Mango in the juice. Mango in the juice and Steve. Okay. Uh, let me make that bigger just in case I want to see. There we go. Pick, pick, pick. Let me click over yonder. Pick, pick. Click. And then clicky, clicky. There we go. How was the meat week going? Um, I haven't really been doing any of the meat week stuff. Um, I think I did like, I don't know, three or four events. I got the meat tenderizer a couple times, though. That's pretty cool. Um, other than that, not much, but uh, I'm going to make a video for the... Um, the April 1st event is going to be cool. It's um, the holiday scorched event. And you can farm, um, whatchamacallit, uh, farm um, script a lot by uh, taking over all the workshops. I'm trying to find a map. I'm trying to find a map of all the workshops. Locations. Um, but, uh, so that's an old map, because Spruce, Spruce Knob isn't a, Spruce Knob isn't a thingy anymore. So, we gotta find a better map. Find a better map. Work, that's, that's too wonky. Um, map of settlements, Haman's Alley, over, oh, no, that's spot four. I thought there'd be more maps. No. Forest. No. Is this really the best one? Workshops. Workshops. I could have sworn that there was other maps somewhere. Uh, anyway. I'm basically going to base everything off of this one. I mean, this is basically the same path that I do, except uh, there's only 21 workshops now. Um, I, mean, I do them a little bit out of order, too. Um, but it's generally, yeah, one, two, three. Or five. I'd normally do like one. Actually, I start here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna record this whole stream, and then I'm just gonna edit, edit out stuff. I'm basically gonna record my video for the thing I'm gonna make for tomorrow here and edit it, uh, and hang out in the meantime. Okay, so yeah. Um, so what do you do? Take over all the workshops. We are gonna fully nail we're gonna beat this horse bloodied what we're gonna do okay so gen basically the first thing that uh you do is you're gonna set your collectron to gifts this one was gonna be xmas gifts all right um so during the event, the um, the presents that uh, the scorched the spook or the holiday scorch drop this thing you can it'll give them to you, um, and the max weight will be ten. So like if you get a giddy up buttercup little that metal uh, horse, you're screwed because it's like eight pounds. So you gotta kind of check it often, and obviously I have all of these set up. I got little my little extra free spots to check. Um, but anywho, uh, I'm gonna show the path. Hey, if anyone needs Raider Pump, got Raider Pump there. So I got these already set up. 
Alright, so this is the Holiday Scorch, dude. Criminal, so he'll give presents. Alright, so, from the map here, you're gonna want to take over every single workshop. It takes like an hour and a half or something, hour to get them all set up on the private. Um, and, um, I normally, I start here, only because, uh, Wade Airport's kind of hard to get to. You can have a fast travel from here and run all the way. It's like a really long run over here. Um, and, uh, because actually, like, when you fast travel here, you actually come, like, right here. It's like, but from right here, it's actually deceptively, it's like right over this little ridge right here. Anywho. Yeah, just take over every workshop and then uh I'll show you the gist of how to do this blueprint. It's really easy. I'm gonna get buffed up oh, right here. Alright. Alright, little doggy. Doggy. One dude up there. Let's take over every workshop. And the uh, key thing is when you take over these workshops, don't you don't care about uh you don't care about whatchamacallit? Um, defending them at all, like zero. You just take it over, you set up your collectron, and that's it. Don't go defend it if you set it up right. Get rid of all these things. That one I want to keep up there to remind me to go. Yep. All right. Unowned workshop. Come on, you didn't even get an event pop up for it. Oh, oh, clear enemies, all right. That would be why I didn't have it turned on. So you can just click, you can click B, hold B to open up the uh, thing. You don't have to go over to the button. Uh, but I already have a blueprint met, made, but I'll show you how to do it. One thing you got to uh, keep in mind is um, they will get be getting shot constantly. Or, you know, when you do defenses, so if you kind of set up your, your base just right, uh, they won't kill the uh, electron. So from the build menu, this is what the blueprint looks like. I'm actually going to make a whole new one. So this is what the blueprint looks like. Uh, yeah, right here. Um, but uh, I'm just going to recreate it for now. Uh, so simply put, what, um, what you want to do is you want to have it in the smallest amount of space. So you're going to take over put one floor. And good. It's three stairs because you want it to be three stories up in the air. So from three stories up in the air, stuff can't really... Hit it from up top, and then your floors.
don't want them to be able to get up, walk up there. All right. Um, I don't think these work. All right. Anyway, so what we're going for here is this little square that we're going to be putting our thing on. You basically want one square's space around uh, this square here so that nothing can shoot it. I mean, you can go like if you wanted to. It actually kind of works better anyway. So when we place our Collectron right here, nothing from anywhere else can shoot it from down below. So we take our Collectron, uh, resources. Kind of doesn't really matter how where you, where you put it. Kind of put it. Uh, I'm gonna put it just so that uh, less amount of stuff can shoot it. And then you go to your uh, miscellaneous thing. And while you're in a workshop, you get this miscellaneous item here. It's a fast travel spot. A little tiny thing. So just like with Fallout 4, wherever you place this, you're gonna fast travel to it. And um, you just kind of put it right here. Smack. Boom. And um, I've had a lot of trouble in the past with... Um, um, you know what? I'm going to try it, though. Try to make a full blueprint with all the stash boxes and everything already set up. But for some reason, it uh, it doesn't like the place in the new location. But we're going to try it anyway. i do one of these one of these come on click one of these no. anyway and then something to scrap all right kind of simple and easy So, I'm in here, you're going to make a blueprint, make a blueprint, you just go in your build menu, and then you just press and hold E on the bottom one until it turns white, I'm going to kill all the This is also why I like it up here, so when you, if you do have to defend, you can kind of just stay up top here. You know, it's a nice little easy platform to kill stuff. But if you can see from down here, pretty much from all angles, nothing down there can really hit it. You know, you get enemies, and it really depends on the, the spot. There are some other spots that I'll show later where to do it. Like this little jerk that sits up here when he respawns, he could just be sitting there shooting it forever. Um, but as long as as long as you don't come here and engage with it, or an actual like defense doesn't pop up, um, sometimes they, they could just go. You can then go forever without it getting destroyed. Um, let me finish this uh, defense off though. I'm not gonna keep shooting me. All right. It is? Oh, we got one more. Yeah, you know, this elder's mark really doesn't blow my skirt up. I still kind of prefer the picture. Alright. But once you get this blueprint done, uh, that speed's kind of the key. You want to, uh, 
basically you just go to take over our workshop go put down your blueprint and leave um because if you're around when like the defense is starting they'll actually start trying to attack your base but if you're not here it's basically like you'll have a defense kind of going on and like they'll come to defend it and the dudes will just kind of be sitting around like about twiddling their thumbs um or they'll be killing other stuff and it's totally fine if you if you lose the uh thing you can still fast travel to it you stay on your private okay so anyway um here we go okay so you click and hold on this so select that select that select 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 Upper floors can only be snapped. Important, make sure you get the, the little fast travel target. Alright. So now you have everything selected, and we're gonna cross our fingers, this actually works. Uh, it doesn't like to place sometimes when I push the stat put the stack box stash boxes into the thingy. But if you see down below where it says uh, R for create blueprint, we're going to go in there, we're going to call it one, one. Um, we're actually going to, yeah, click there, one, one, workshop. I do a number so it's at the top of my list. Alright. Alright. Workshop. Now we have our blueprint. Now we took over this one. So then you just kind of go in the order without whatever you're going to go. So this will be my number one and then two. Um, so come over here. And it really depends on what what's attacking the um, the workshop. Like the little, um, the copy can flying robot thingies, uh, those little D bags will, will shoot, uh, will destroy your base when you're not there. Well, the blueprint I already have saved doesn't have the, uh, stash boxes on it. That's normally what I seem to have to do every time. And then just every time I place one, I have to put a new stash box down there. But we're going to hope we get lucky. Alright, so take over the workshop. Build it. And if you only make it like two stories up or one story up, the the enemies will like walk up the stairs and stuff. But when it when it's three stories, they don't ever seem to walk up the stairs. It has happened. It does happen at certain places, but otherwise it doesn't. You can kind of see where the open staircase is. You can kind of like angle it so that like there's no space. See, I'm putting it right next to the car so that like no dudes can walk up it. But, oh, oh, okay, that was the wrong blueprint. Uh, let me destroy this one. Um, no. I want to see if I can get that other one to work. Okay. Uh, what was the one we just made? Did it not save?
Okay. Hope oh, let's cross our fingers this one works. Need support. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but when you put the stash boxes down, it just uh won't work. Okay, so expand that idea. So we go to this one that does work. It's gonna pop down there and then each time um each time I'll just go and I'll have to put down I think I actually made a uh Oh yeah 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 I forgot about this one. I made another little blueprint just for this. It was for a different base though. I don't know if this will fit. Um but yeah you can kind of just throw these down anywhere. Um, okay, so anyway, you took over that workshop, then we're just gonna rinse and repeat. So this is my one, two, three, four, and I go down, and then I actually do these at the end. I go around the map. Um, so let's go take over. Do the Sanitron Collectrons, uh, yes, only, only when the event is up. Um, this also works with the uh, Nuka, this works any time with the Nuka polos and stuff. You can take over every workshop and just set all your Collectrons to, um, Nuka Cola, and then, you know, every 30 minutes just go collect up a bunch of, bunch of Nukas. Why am I killing these guys? These guys don't count. I only want to take over these guys. How do the how do I get the Sanitron Collectron? Um Oh, it probably won't be on Um That's a good point. Um was the um holiday there's there's one for for um gifts. The holiday gifts. I guess that wasn't on here today, was it? Um, it's just, it's normally an atom shop item that you just get, uh, or when the event is up. Alright. So here's gonna be much easier, quicker. Obviously. It's just gonna come in here. This one, you get, sometimes there'll be dudes up, up on that ridge shooting, so I kind of just put it further away. Um, I'm just gonna pop it here. Pop that kind of yonder. Good enough. And, uh, to kind of go to the next place. Let me show you. Yeah, you, you can go to your Collectron to see if you um you have it if you weren't playing. What's up? What's it? Just go to your Collectron and. Need to check why why send a naughty gifts 
Electron is currently filling with stockings. Why won't you let me change it? No, what are you doing? Alright. So what's it that little two hour nap I was gonna take turn into an eleven hour nap? Atomic up shop item. Yeah, when the event is up, you they give it to you. Like it's just a free free item for everybody. Were you not were you playing this Christmas? You only have junk on the Nuka Cola one? Uh um, go check your, go check the actual item out oh, here, I'll show you here. If you were playing during the holiday event, Warning. you might have clicked it and just didn't remember. You just go to the terminal. Um, and also, I don't know if you knew this, but if every collectron, everyone that you learn, you can do all of them from it. So like this Flectron, I could just go down here and you could just switch it to, you know, I could switch it to Nuka Colas. I can go down, I could switch it to, uh, well, it's already not on gifts. Uh, Fashnet gifts. Is there a Halloween? I guess I thought, right, I think there's a Halloween one. Uh, Nuka Cola, electronics, silver, automotive parts. I don't even remember what that one was. Fashnet food. So go click on your your thingy and it'll show you what you already got. Um, auto miner. Oh, I forgot. So it's already doing naughty gifts. That's all set up, right? I only started playing uh, last days of Christmas event. I had no idea what was going on. If you were playing during the event and you were still like. If you knew about clicking the atom shop, it was like one of those free things that you just got. You know, like when you went clicked on your atom shop, it was like free, free to everybody. You know, like I have this is free to everybody. So uh, I don't know. Cross your fingers, go click it, see if maybe you got it already. So from there I got that one, and then I go take over this one. Gonna run to the store. All right, what's it? I made some very, very mild coffee. I'm going to grab some coffee. I don't think I did the time it will check yeah but um doing this method um those presents you get I mean you get hundreds hundreds per hour um you get a lot of you get a lot of trash ones a lot of the 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 lowest level ones but I mean if you're gonna spend if you want to spend your whole day on your private and you check them every half hour, you can spend the rest of the time just cycling through and killing the normal dudes out at the map. You know, killing the actual ones you go hunt for. Uh, and the reason you're doing this is because they give script. The ornate ones. Um, ornate ones and the normal ones give script. For Nuka Colas, yeah, you'll get a bonkers amount of Nuka Colas. Any tips for, for me, a new player? What's up, Jack? Um, yeah, what level are you, Jack? The number one tip, like, well, depending on what level you are, the number one best tip for you, for a new player, is to, um, is to put 
like if you're level 10 or whatever um starting out put every single one of your points in intelligence from level 2 to level 15 you want this to be fully maxed um as soon as you can get um the as soon as you can get the oh, where is it inspirational perk have that make sure that you're on a team constantly because for the first uh for the first few hundred levels uh, experience is going to be your your the thing that you want to, the most um, just so you can level up faster you can get more points um, but uh, you know 15 points in intelligence is 30 percent more experience um, also when you're at your base at once an hour just make a really good habit of uh, going and getting your rested bonus and if you do die go sleep again that's five percent more experience um general you know basically speaking for you to be able to get to the point where you're maxed level it um where you get all your legendary perks all up to four uh is about level 540 ish kind of in that range so the faster you can get there the better level 70 trying to get a commando build but uh trying to figure out the game yeah just keep keep your experience on staying always being a casual team um Casual teams like eight percent more experience, and then eight more eight percent more experience when it's fully up with the times four uh, and extra intelligence. Because each each point of intelligence is basically two percent more experience, um, and inspirational is fifteen percent more experience when you're in a team, which is amazing. So that's fifteen percent. That's thirty. That's forty five percent more experience. Uh, 45, 53 percent experience with with a full team. Five percent more experience when you're fully rested. Um, so if you get everything all set up, you can you can burn through getting your points up. I'm going to level seven, going for commando build. Still trying to figure out the game. Yeah, I'm I'm all all about commando. Um, are you a Vats commando or are you an aiming commando? Like you got an inspirational next yeah keep that on keep that on definitely until at least like level 500 when once you get your your um once you get your legendary perk once you get these all maxed uh experience start, starts meaning less it's not meaningless but it, it starts to mean less to you the only reason that you would do it is just to get you know like other cards that you wanted to switch around maxed up but if you know the build that you're going for this is my this is my commando build here. If you know what you got and you got your stuff maxed out, then you're ready to rock. Uh, for commando build, it um, you kind of have your choice of do you want to go with bats or do you want to go with like aiming damage. I'm a bats player, so like my crit crit criticals are what I'm looking for. Critical savvy, better criticals. Um, also, you bloody mess. This is fifteen percent damage always. This is a great card. Um, the number one card, uh, even even the one star. I have the three, the maxed out version, but the one star concentrated fire is the number one most DPS card in the entire game. Uh, where is it? Concentrated fire. Like this is the best card in the game uh, because it enables you to do headshots. Um, it's like double damage. Come here, so I can cycle through now with this on. No, so when I'm in bats, I just hold down my space bar. Crit, I'm critting them, doing like 500 per shot. I use bats a lot, but I'm trying to get a bloody fixer. That's what I'm using right now. I use a um. Where are you? Oh, round one. Yeah, bloody twenty-five, twenty-five. And uh, I also use Gun Fu. This is a, an amazing card. Oh, about to disconnect. So if you see uh, when I'm in bats and I kill something, if there's another target, I immediately go. It'll go from target to target to target to target. I basically could just tap I just tap my finger once 
you know, let's see if I can get them right here. So, yeah, it's amazing. I got concentrated fire. Sweet. Concentrated fire, gun, foo. Um, better criticals. If, um, and you, did you say you're bloodied? With better criticals and, um, uh, with critical savvy with the 45%, uh, once you can get your specials, your, um, where are you? Once you get your luck above 33, uh, every time I shoot, I'm only, uh, every time I crit, I'm consuming, uh, 45 or 55% of my, my, um, my crit bar, but with 33, every time I do shoot, I get over 55% back. So every other shot is a crit with 33 luck. Is it all right? Take a screenshot of your perks. Um, yes, sure. <laughs> um, these three are my friends sharing perks with me and I have, this is like a kind of, a, this is like an end game build that I do. This is not like a perfect build, obviously. I'm kind of a sneak combo, you know, I have covert up, so when I sneak around, my first shot does a lot more damage. Um, but yeah, here, I'll hold this for a second. And uh, the only reason I have Inspirational on right now is because I'm farming the uh, Spore, otherwise I do not run with this on. Normally I would run with, uh, my fr have my friend share Weaponsmith. Uh, but Serendipity is amazing for Bloodied. Blocker is really nice. Uh, those are the only real defense ones I use. What's up, Perf? And for my legendary cards... You, obviously, you, you could do choice. You have choices with your legendary cards, uh, but in my opinion, the special ones are the only ones that really make sense because they're just so amazing. You have this one card makes it so that I have five perk points. Um, so, so in actuality, since these are all five, in my actual perks, um, let me load up over here. Sources. Where are you, punch card missions? Uh, oh no, it's under crack. So in actuality, under here, you can see that, uh, oops. I actually only have 10 points in luck. 10, 10, 10, and 10. And with those legendary perk cards, uh, that puts me up to the max of 15. So that's, I have 15, 15, 15, 15, and this one is actually 10. Um, is Fallout first worth buying, having trouble leveling up uh, season pass? Um, if you, like, I couldn't live without it, uh, personally. I mean, if you play a lot, if you're going to be playing a I mean, I get way more value out of my fall first than I do my Netflix. Like, if I'm actually thinking about canceling my Netflix, I barely ever use it. Uh, but it's basically the same price as Netflix, and I play, I don't know, 10 or 12 hours a day, so. But um, the biggest advantage you get with Fallout First is uh, the access to your scrap box and your ammo box, because you have such a low... Oh, for, um, such a small amount of actual stat stash space with the 1200. Uh, hold on. And, uh, so, you know, without it, you'd have, you'd have to be throwing away a lot of junk every once in a while. But, I mean, as you can see, like, I have millions of ammo. Like, um... All this ammo, all of this stuff over time, I would have had to throw in all this stuff away. You know, I have like almost 9 million this round. Um, this all, let's see, go by weight. You no, know, 1600 missiles, that's 32,000 pounds just with that alone. All that I'd have to throw away. 
All right, same with the junk, you know. Got a million and a half steel. That that's seventy five thousand pounds. Never in in ever would you be able to hold even a small portion of that. So is Fallout First worth it? If you're gonna play a lot, it is unbelievably worth it. Yeah, you still need to level up all that stuff. You just get the uh, access. Actually, yeah, fall first doesn't really seem to get. Kind of got did get the shaft a bit. Uh, not really, but I don't, know. I don't really care. I I'm not. I don't really. I'm on the side of I don't really give a crap about the the new scoreboard issues that people everyone else has. But yeah, from here you just see that. Uh, that's why I choose the. Uh, Oh, I could probably get these two from in here. With these perk things, you know. So these five, five things enabled me to get maxed in there. And I'm kind of a sneak build. So I love follow through. Because, uh, you know, for 10 seconds after, I'm, I'm doing a bonkers amount more damage. And you can kind of see with my, my build, I'm sort of, sort of a sneak build. Um, actually, I don't even really need this much anymore. A covert op, I'm doing 50% more. And with my commando, pretty much any time I go shooting, then if I just go crouch, I'm going to do like crazy more damage. And it works when you're jumping. As long as I'm crouched, mega more damage. Use so much stuff. You get so much stuff. Yeah, all the stuff you'd have to throw away. Oh, um, so much more stuff with the scoreboard or the season. What are we calling this? Season board? When you get this extra uh, fault first, you get access to a rug. You seem to have gotten... There seem to be a lot more stuff, a lot more atoms and stuff with the fault first than before, but I don't know. I never looked into it. I haven't watched the other YouTubers' videos complaining about it much. In all honesty, I don't really... Excuse me. No, I say I don't really just care that much. Um, I'm not. I don't really care about cosmetic stuff. Most of the stuff's just cosmetic. You get a tent and a. Oh yeah, yeah. I totally forgot the whole. One of the coolest parts about having a. Well, at first, is you basically get a camp. You can move anywhere. Um, uh, so you could be out anywhere. I can just bust out my tent. You place this thing anywhere, you know, have a little scrap on the go. Get access to a stash box, an ammo box, a scrap box, depending on what, uh, um, you had to get this, this particular one, but there's like a whole bunch of different tents that you can get. Um, some of them are kind of lame. I think the default you get one, the default one is, um, like this one, I think, and you could call our normal tent. Like this one's got a um, a scrap box in it. This one's got a scrap box, ammo box, stash box. This one's got everything. But yeah, these, they're cool. So, anyway. <laughs> we got a squirrel we got to attend to? No. Okay. Anyway, so... Back to taking these all over. I don't think I really need to beat a dead horse in all of these. Mango, are you even still here? So essentially, stay in your private. Oh, and yeah, check the one of the another coolest things. I'm on my private server since I have fallout first. Like only I'm on this. I mean, I can have you can have up to eight people on your private server. So like, if Mango or any of my friends or four of my friends wanted to come, they can come hang out with me here. Uh, and this enables me so I can go take over every single workshop is what I'm doing right now for the April 1st event uh, and set these all up for my collectrons to collect up uh, the Christmas presents. And uh, there's 21 workshops. And then every like half hour, an hour, because it takes about, I don't know, 45 minutes or 50 minutes for the collectrons to fill up. Take them all over and then I just cycle through. So if I stay crouched here... Just fast travel over here. And with that little fast travel mat that I put down, you'll see here I'm going to fast travel directly to it. And 
And when I do do this on, was it Tuesday? What day is the first? Yeah, when you fast travel to it, you fast travel directly to it. And it is kind of bugged. If you fast travel to it, it makes you like turn. Like even if I place this here, it would make me like go over here to collect it. But you go, you collect up your presents, stay crouched, fast travel to the next one. And I do suggest you turn down your your uh, all your settings down to low, which will make your fast travel speed go from like 30 seconds to uh, yeah. And also mangled like I was no, I was saying that uh, with it being up here, see it's currently being attacked right now. See how it says defend lakeside lakeside cabins. Like the dudes will just kind of meander around since it's so high up off the ground. You see them down there? And they can't walk up the stairs. Like, I don't need to worry about defending this at all. See, they're just kind of like chilling out there. They're not destroying it at all. And uh, you don't have to worry. Even if, like, I lose the base um, because I lose the defense, it doesn't matter. I can still fast travel to it. So just fast travel to here. But it does depend on, on what's getting attacked. Um, you know, if it's those little, um, like, the Liberators. Uh, liberators will, they're kind of jerks, and they, they will be sitting up there, they'll be shooting at it. Um, super mutants will, will shoot at it if they're down there. Um, so it's just kind of, it's kind of the luck of the draw of, uh, how you kind of place your camp. Sometimes I've had liberators that just ignore it. Um, do you need, uh, need to do this at some point for new goals? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I've, in the past... On the holiday events, like what I'm planning on doing on Monday or whatever day it is, I'll just go watch Netflix. I'll set up the, all the camps for a day. I set up the camps and I'll just go watch the whole season of something on Netflix and I'll go check this every episode and, and I'll just go cycle through them all. You know, it takes like our own 10 minutes, 20 minutes to go cycle through and then I'll come back 45 minutes later, cycle through them all, collect up all my presents. And the reason that I put the uh, the stash box, the ammo box, and and all that stuff is those presents. What they weigh like one pound each, and when you open them up, you get a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, so unless you have like a thousand space in your stash box to like kind of collect them up, as you go, you're gonna have to open them all up. Yeah, th that little giddy up thing right there. That's what. That's kind of the. The jerk face of the whole thing because you see how they weigh they weigh eight pounds each uh that's why i collect them up a little more often because this thing only holds 10 pounds so um the presents what ideally you want it to have 10 presents in there when you go check it but with that giddy up thing it only left two extra space in there so tech Honestly, when I when I go and I do this, I go check it. I'll just go cycle through over and over and over and over. Um, mole rats. Oh, engage them. If you do engage them, you basically just gotta go finish, or else they'll they'll come up and start attacking your stuff. But here's gunfu in action. I'm just all I'm doing is tapping my mouse, and it's just cycling through for me. All right, so that's. That's that. So stay crouched when you go fast travel to the place. Staying crouched means that when you go there, you're not, and it is super mutant or something that with guns, they're not going to see you and just start shooting at you. So I just come in here, fast travel to the next one, collect. Move on to the next one. Click, 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 and you just cycle through the whole map. I'm out of, out of ammo for my picture, and I got no stem packs. Two, yeah. Are you on PC? Jack? I'll hook you up some stem packs and some ammo. Add Mr. Marp, I'll hook you up. Alright, so 
go from here. So I normally I consider this like one, two, three, four. Mount Blair is the one I hate the most. This one's so annoying. Um, I don't know. Do I really want to take them all over for all this? Now I'm on PlayStation. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, that's one another great thing with the Fallout First. It enables you to kind of just loot everything. I loot all. I scrap everything. Scrap it all, and then I put everything into this. Just let it load up. I mean, obviously, this is this is over a long period of time of uh, collecting up stuff. Uh, but yeah, for the years I've been playing, I would have had to throw all this stuff away. So, yeah, it's personal choice. I know, uh, what is, I don't even know how much it is. What's it, like $9.99 a month? I pay for it by the year. Otherwise, what is it, like 12 bucks a month? You got it? Yeah, level 7. I'm actually, I'm bouncing around an idea here to delete one of my characters and uh, do like a once a week, like one day a week, every week, do a, a long-term stream series of uh, starting a character from zero. You know, like Sunday Morp Day or whatever, I don't know what to call it, of uh, starting, uh, starting new. All 20 of my alts are all like too high level to like even really test or practice uh, stuff. 22 a month in Australia. I don't know what uh, Australia money uh, American is. Is it 2 to 1? If it is, yeah, that sounds about right. You know, 10 or 11. 10 or 11 a month. Yeah, this one sucks because you gotta go all over the freaking place in here. <laughs> Oh, Mango, I forget it was you asking about the uh, ignition cores. This is Mount Blair. Here, this large, this large thing in the middle of Ash Heap. Um, and uh, when you first take this over, in order to power it up, you're going to get a quest to come down here. And um, you need to get a little core thingy to put into here to power it up. And that's what people with a lot of materials use to craft these ignition cores to... That's how Flaku got, like, level 100 in a day. Um, you get this item here that you can craft. And if you see here, it uh, takes lead, nuclear material, and steel. And then when you scrap it, you get all five lead back and, like, half the nuclear material and half the steel. So, I mean, if you have millions of, millions of material, you could just go and... Get all your experience buff up, craft them like 18 at a time to get your 4,000 experience over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Uh, we paid double roughly yours. Yeah, that's about two to one. That's what I was thinking it was about. Part of the mission for the excavator armor. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Jack, for Bloody Commando, oh, let me show you if I can see, show the difference. So just standing up, say 300 damage when I'm standing, versus, uh, let me show you what it is when I crouch. Just that, that one perk point of having 50% while sneaking. 314, a simple thing of just, before I shoot, crouch. 800 and 500. 500. So 500 when I'm crouched. Versus uh, 350. Crouch. 525. So 
Yeah. That's that's my sneak commando kind of thing, even though I'm kind of a hybrid build anyway. Yeah, just before I shoot, crouch, way more damage. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of a little hybrid though. I like to sprint a lot. You know, I'll, I'll kind of just berserker style. Uh, not Fallout's berserker. Berserker's naked dude, but you know, just kind of run around. Cool thing with the fixer is you can basically walk at normal speed when you're crouched with the fixer equipped. You know, like through West Tech, I can just basically auto run, just tap, 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 kill, 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 kill. All right, so take over this workshop. Um, this one, this workshop, you kind of have some jerks you got to deal with here. Um, so I always I put my camp like way over there. Uh, if you try to put it like right here, like uh, dudes that will spawn right up here will can just shoot down right on it. So I just started putting it far away. That's how I want my build to be. So I just come over here. Um, blueprint. I just kind of put it just far away and I just never really gets messed with over here. Why are you being a jerk? There we go. That should be fine. I'm not even, I don't need to be pretty with it. Pop this on there. It sucks like after the two blueprints, but whatever. Alright. Up in there. Hopefully that didn't like jack up my fast travel spot. Alright, so it's my little fast travel spot. Alright, so from there, take over this guy. Oh, I forgot to click record on this thing the whole time. Um, start recording. Well, this was a... Uh, this was a, it's, I didn't want to call it a wasted stream, but it's been fun. That's fine. The squirrel's got hold of me anyway. So yeah, pretty simple. I were here to take over this one. This one's kind of a, this was an easy one. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't want, I'm not gonna, this takes like an hour and a half or whatever to take over all these anyway. Ooh, irrational fear. So we're gonna officially let the squirrels take hold. Uh, after this event, I will, um, yeah, I'll go over and show you kind of my, my build and seems like West Tech seems to be what everyone does videos to block, don't block self jerk unblock there you go fast trail there you go all right do 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 rational fear rational fear Okay. I lost my first nuke yesterday and I ran out of ammo and stim packs during it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um the farm ammo, uh if you're in if you do daily ops or expeditions, um you could just go do an daily op daily op purely with the intention of farming ammo. You can go and just kind of, you get a head, I get a headshot on one guy, 
with for three bullets and I can get like 20 ammo back. Um uh 45s are pretty pretty easy. You just go do expeditions if you're in a team with other people. I mean if you wanted to be okay with being a jerk, you could basically just go run around, let everyone else shoot everything, and just go loot every single body. You can you can come out with thousands of ammo. All right. Are you bugging? Let me show you the. There's fixers are great, but nothing compares to the railway. Railway is a beast. Oh, I'm out of blight soup. Blight soup's gonna be your friend too. Uh, you're like, forget what it is without herbivore. But with my herbivore mutation, it's 125 percent more crit damage, which is a crazy. But yeah, railways are kill a mofo in the face gun. This event has a chance of uh, dropping an ultra rare peril. Actually, oh, yeah, that outfit I'm wearing right now, I actually got from this event. A leather coat. Yeah, I'll do that to get ammo. Yeah, yeah. Daily ups are a great way to get ammo. See, I, I maybe shot, um, I don't know, 20 bullets, but I looted like triple the amount. Um, it's another benefit of having Fallout First is enables I, I loot everything everywhere always. Um so yeah, ammo will not be an issue once you get kind of attuned to it. I also have full weapon weight reduction um armor. Uh which super enables me to be able to loot all. Uh, if I didn't have uh, the weight reduction stuff all set up then uh you bug. He bugs out and tries to go back to the last one. Um, it makes it makes it a little bit more annoying, but I can hit loot all for like 20, 30, 40 minutes before I have to scrap anything. Like I'm still, I still got a lot of room, 175 pounds. I'm actually curious. What's when I do a daily op to see? I'm gonna see how much ammo I actually get. How long have you been playing Fallout for? Uh, Fallout 76. It's kind of hard to say. I technically was playing on day one of launch of Fallout 76, but I played for just a short time and took a year or whatever off. I, I played until level 100, and then uh. Took a long time off, but then I came back, played to level 300, took a long time off, and I came back like a year and a half ago. And since then, I've been playing, I don't know, 20 hours a day, it feels like, since then. Alright. Uh, get a bat and kill stuff and get ammo due to events. Um, did they change the way that uh, in daily ops, like if I have a fixer out, all I get is 45, but if you go with melee, don't you get like a mix of stuff? Daily up, uplink. Oh, it's uplink. Um. Oh. I'm just gonna solo it instead. Uh. Moving speed and melee speed. Yeah, screw it. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in here. I'm going in here purely just with the intent of farming ammo. I'm not even gonna try to like uh, kill it. Let's see how much ammo we start with. Um. Okay, so I have thirty-seven five, whatever. It's called thirty-seven five. I'm gonna. What time is it? Okay, eight thirty-six. I'm gonna just go in here and kill stuff for like five minutes. So. That was four bullets. 
six bullets, eight bullets. Okay, so that was ten bullets that I oops. That's twelve bullets that I used. Twelve bullets, I got twenty twenty-nine thirty-eight. Uh all right. Anyway. So yeah, you see how I, I was two bullets per kill and there was five dudes and I got like fifty ammo. Um Oh, they're not going to keep spawning, are they? Uh, I gotta actually do it. Might as well actually start it. Make more dude spawn. Okay. I'm supposed to give aid. Yeah, melee. So yeah, it's giving me just the ammo I'm using. Where are you, dudes? Three bullets, and I got 13 back. Yeah, so this is like a bonkers way to get, get ammo. I'm gonna get a prisoner backpack uh in the upgrade. And that was like fifty ammo. And don't shoot uh Also in daily apps, by the way, the uh, sneak it doesn't count, or like the greatly enhanced perceptions means that uh, you're never sneaking in here. Who's shooting from where? There you go. So anyway, uh, what was that? Uh, so it's three minutes in here, just. I don't know. Probably shot less than a hundred bullets. I'll do this until this one ends and then I'll collect up over there and you know what five minutes in here looks like. What did I have? Three three seven five six seven, I think. Drake sauce. Awesome. Alright. Hey, you put me where I wanted to be anyway. Alright. Do, 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 do. Alright. So... 36, that was exactly five minutes in there. 
just solo. Really just trying to farm. Have a flat due to a screw, no tires. Oh no. You got a plug. It is on a low level, he'll use more ammo uh, and get back unless he's on a team. Yeah, I definitely suggest you just join a daily app team. Start a daily app team. You could you could even fire zero bullets if you don't mind being a jerk. Just follow around everyone else. Uh, it's it's AOE, it's area based, the loot. So if anyone else kills it and you're right there and you're in the team, you're gonna be able to get the loot. Um so go on expeditions with people. Okay, so five minutes in there. Um three three seven five. Uh so I got like five hundred rounds. Um or four hundred rounds in there in five minutes. Um so it's you know that's a good way. I mean, you, you, if you do a full thing with a full team, I, I've, I've left the daily op with like, two hundred more rounds than I use, or two thousand more rounds. Uh, what's up, Giga? Just rolled a uh, Q faster fire rate, ninety weight. I uh, think it's good fixer. Uh, it's a perfect. It's a god roll two star. The reduced weight on, on uh, that third star is. I mean, it's a nice third star. It, it's definitely a benefit. It's benefiting the the three stars. Um, it's just not like ideal or anything. Uh, it's not a god roll, um, but uh, yeah, quad quad faster fire rate. You're 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 good to go just with those. Perfect. I love me some uh, faster fire rate. It's like my go to thing. Darn good gun is for sure. Alright, anyway, okay. Um, I'm actually, sh I'm curious how much ammo you get. Uh, how much ammo you get for a West Tech run? Let's do that. Actually, let me get. Uh, let me get fully buffed up for that. We'll. Uh, I want to see how much experience I get for it too. If you, uh, if you use, uh, yeah, if you're out of vats. <laughs> If you don't like using vats, uh, it's, but you want to do the, the commando, then you you want to get a handmade, handmade for out of vats, less damage, but the recoil is so much better. Fixer is uh, if you're a vats user is gonna be better for you because it's more damage and better um, better everything. But uh, yeah, fixer is not the best if you're aiming. I don't know this is how you play. See the tree, you know. That this recoil is pretty pretty all over the place. Oh. I don't I doubt I have a handmade on me. Uh I don't have one on me. But yeah, this is it's pretty wonky. Nothing like a railway though. <laughs> the railway is just stupid. Just to get headshots, at this thing it's it's, it's kind of all over the place. It's not terrible, but I gotta hate first person so much. But if you're using aim damage, first person is definitely gonna be a lot easier. Kind of harder to because you got the addition of that little angle, little angle difference. Squat, hold breath. Oh, I always forget about that. Uh, how do you hold breath? I always forget you can hold your breath. How do you do that? I don't ever play like this, so I always forget. Was it alt? Um. Oh, control? Yeah, what is holding breath? I always forget that's a thing. Uh, hold breath is what? Left, 
a toggle on control. I don't use a controller. Uh, bash, attack, grenade. Push in, aim, and hold alt. Oh, okay. Aim and hold alt. Hip fire spray works nice. I don't seem to be doing any different. Keep bouncing around. Let's see, not holding alt. Bounce still pretty bad. Hold control. Yeah, I don't know. I was I forgot. I forgot that holding breath's a thing. I don't ever use aim damn. I'm all that's all the time, so I don't know. Aim attack, activate Mr. M plays Vats, yeah. I'm playing Fallout with a VAT system. Why would I this isn't a first person shooter game. I consider playing aim damage and like and intentionally doing a disadvantage in the game. But need a target. Alright. Then hold alt. Do I need to hold a different alt? Uh, it might only work with a magnified scope. Oh, okay, that might make sense. If right works nice, yeah. Yeah, I'll use a I use an explosive weapon when I want to like spray stuff. This is like just my I'm just spraying the tag in an event. Let's hit fire that. You know, Moonshine Jamboree just kind of shoot some dudes over there, shoot dudes over there, tag, 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 tag. Anyway, all right, forgot what we're doing. We're on squirrel tangent time. Let's get some blight soup. Um, where are you, blighty? Where am I, actually? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll see how much ammo I can get for one little clear of uh, what you call it, West Tech. Do 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 do. Definitely want our blighty soupy. I'm even gonna do some. Uh, I'm gonna do a full experience run in West Deck. How's that? Non-explosive, but the the very very slow method. Not the. Uh, I'm gonna go clear out the flame with like six grenades and get six levels every minute kind of thingy. All right. Uh, where are you, blighty? I think that's enough blight. Uh, yeah. Love my archer. Yeah, I never, I want to try an archer build. It seems like it'd be fun. I never shot a bow in this game. I suck at West Tech XP runs. I've never done an XP. I did one once. Like, I, 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 when I say once, I mean I went in there once. I threw like six grenades and I went downstairs. I threw like two grenades, I came back up, I threw a couple grenades, and that's my, it, I just fully explained my experience with doing the X, XP at grenade farming. Let's get, uh, oh, let's get some water. Get enough to get our rads to bloodied. You know. You're bloodied. I got 20 builds. Let's try to make one. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a website that I don't use, but I should use. Oop, wrong one. Oh, come on. There you go. What's it called? Uh, wild build? Fallout builds. You should try out this. Uh, check out this site a bit. Um. You can look in here, and you can look up by, like, popular builds. Builds, like, uh, you know, you type in bloodied. Uh, hit search. Bloodied. Search. 
a bloodied, uh, bloodied stealth valve rifleman. Boom. There you go. <clears throat> you can look this up. People uh, go in here and you can vote by builds. Um, stuff like that. It's kind of a cool site that I don't use. <laughs> What's up, SDS? Uh, got others for test server. Two accounts, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. That's a lot. All right. Do, 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 do. Who has got the white suit? One of those dudes does. Oh, never mind. I just got something to make. Mango, don't think I did not forget about you. I'm letting uh, all my uh, I'm letting all those uh, workshops get taken away from me to show you that it still works. All right, got some blight, got some carrot soup, and uh, Jack. If you yeah, Jack's still here. I'm gonna show you my uh, my food food setup. And show you why I use it. Why it's so super OP. So, um, I'm herbivore. Oops. Um, my, one of the mutations I use is herbivore. Uh, the benefit you get from eating plants is double. And so my setup for food, since I'm vats, is I use blight soup. This is going to give me 125% extra crit damage. Carrot soup is going to give me 5 perception, which makes my vats more awesome company t for more ap regen out of like every, when i stop shooting my ap bar just goes zoop. corn soup uh ap regen eight percent and that's inside inside a comet um like this will make it just always go up no no i think this one's just like company t but they stack um more agility is awesome max ap is sweet um so let me show you my full buffs here. So I got company T. It's kind of hidden. It doesn't show up. But I got uh, two and a half agility, 25 AP, 125 uh, crit damage. This is kind of the the, the food buff that I, I uh, do. And except for the blight that I have to go grab, everything I have is all here at the base. Grab my corn, my carrots, my, my potatoes, my, my mutt fruit, mute fruit, whatever you call them. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about you know it's not you're not gonna be uh, OP at the very beginning, which is totally fine. Um, something to build from. All right. So I and I get rested while my alt comes and gives me some stuff. Yeah, yeah, Jacob. What's it had the most important thing? And you're having fun. That's the only thing that matters. Actually, I had more fun. I had a lot of fun when I was, like, struggling and, and, you know, a lot weaker. Like, some of my better memories of the game were back, like, when uh, I was still learning and struggling and having what, what felt like epic adventures trying to complete a quest. And, like, when I go do it now, like, I just go fire ten bullets and it's done. But it was, it was fun, you know, having a big old struggle. Okay, anyway, I'm going to eat those so I can get some experience. Uh, brain bombs and crayon. Oh, I already had some on me. I'm actually going to drop those so they don't decay on me. My alt's got the uh, good with salt perk. So they can last a long time. Need to find people to play with Jack. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so for specials, I got 56... All right, so let's go do. Let's go see how many bullets I get at West Tech. One, one, one clear just upstairs at West Tech. Yeah, there's all kinds of solos, right? There's many different ways to play a game. You could be like solo, and uh, you could play the game purely as a trader in the game, and you know everything you're doing is just wheeling and dealing, and 
you know, you go take one item and do a little trade and get a little bit of profit here, a little bit of profit there, trade this for that with this and that. And then next thing you know, a month later, you have every single God roll, ultra rare, everything. You're super, super rich. Yeah, I died so much. I dropped the nuke yesterday. <laughs> yeah, dropping nukes can suck. So anyway, so I'm going to go in here and get a little weed tat. Um, so... Since I'm stealth, Oop, wrong gun. Six hundred experience per thingy. I'm just I'm literally tapping my mouse button once. Because with a faster fire rate, bladed fixer. It's pretty much impossible to fire one bullet. And with, when I'm holding down my finger on the spacebar, I don't know what it is for a controller. Uh, whatever button it is to, to crit, just keep keep your finger down on that the entire time. I'm walking around. I have my spacebar down. So every time I click the button, one of those shots is going to be a crit. If you're not dying, if you're not dying, you're not playing. Boom, exactly. All right, so let's see what we got for ammo. Um, so I got, uh, we're going to call that 377. And it is, we're going to call it uh, on the hour, minus two minutes. Actually, we're going to call it on the hour because I'm going to go beat. All right, there we go. Okay. So, Mango, if you're still watching, uh, see all my, all those events that are going on for these? They're going to go one by one. They're going to destroy them all. But once it's done, I'm going to show you how you can still fast travel to them. All right. If you're playing a team... Let's see, I'm going to hit you on you. <laughs> Make sure I'm in my right build. I am not even in my right build. I was in my camp build. No wonder I'm not one shotting these things. Oh, my dudes are about to disconnect. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah, I want to loot everything. Over here. Oh, I'm not getting all 45 ammo. Forty five and five five six. And uh yeah, Jack, if you are gonna play bloodied, make sure that you get a full set of uh, unyielding armor. With that's fifteen points, and uh it gets my perception and my agility. Um, oh, wrong button. Um, really, really high. 50, 43, and, you know, 40. So I can basically be, like, up in these guys' face before they see that I'm here, which, uh, gets my little, my, uh, sneak bonus, sneak damage up to the point where I can almost auto-run, auto-walk around here. I think when I'm it's going on right now? Yeah. I don't really care about meat week. Uh, there's this one. There's three more. Oh, yeah. It's going to be Alien Invaders, isn't it? 
up. I think I might do that. I want to get an alien blaster plan. I don't have one for a giveaway. So, um, one tap on the mouse, killing basically everything. It should be. I think some of these dudes are like free bullets. If I'm standing. I'm getting like 100 or 200 less damage per thing when I'm not crouched. Um, but technically, this is. I don't know, you guys have seen me on the stream. This, this is how I actually play. I'll just, I just run around. You die more often, but it's quicker and it's more fun. I just like wag. Wee! You know? This is this is more my style. So, yeah, I'm hitting for three hundred and eight hundred. 200 and 500. Yeah. That's kind of my, more of my speed. Alright, anyway. Did we clear the whole thing? I think we did, right? Oh, there's another dude somewhere. There you are. Alright, so one one thing of West Tech up top was how many bullets? Oh, another four. Get everything? Include everything. Okay. What do we say? Three seven seven? Oh, I forgot. Did I only got 40 rounds to that whole thing? That doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, I won't show how many jammo I got. I don't. Anyway. I kind of lost track on the test we were doing there. So it's two bullets, and I got six bullets back. Oh, okay. So, yeah, West Tech Farm is not really good for ammo. You planning to get it unyielding? Yeah. Yeah, you could start with just even getting a, a full set of one stars. You know, start there. Um, that's all you really need because the, the, the key is to get to your 33 luck. And if you, if you're a VATS build, that is because the crit every second shot is just so OP and what you want once you get critical savvy. So each time you do crit, it only uses 55%. And with 33 luck, every time you shoot, your luck is giving you more than 55% of your, your, um, Crit bar filled. With your critical damage, crits do 100% more when you're sneaking. Um, uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, with covert op, my range attacks doing uh, thing. Isn't there one with um, silenced weapon? Am I missing that perk? Am I crazy dumb and I've been missing the perk? The silenced weapons do um, more what am I missing here? Mr. Sandman. Oh you si oh at night time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh this one I take off normally. You know, if you wanna really be crazy and, and you know it's nighttime, you could put on uh Mr. Sandman, and uh, 
just do like a stupid excuse me a stupid amount of damage we'll see if it's nighttime outside uh where am i going oh i'm just gonna fast travel um he's level 19 mr morp um 17. what levels i missed all i've been missing a whole bunch of chat i'm sorry guys all right uh yeah try to get friends play ball uh join teams meet people for sure so you by people near you in your level enjoy uh, what you're doing yeah yeah I've, over the time it seems like every few months i'll there'll be like a little little small crew of people i play with you know they give up and they stop playing the game and but it's more fun when you have other people that's the whole point of fault 76 All point is, you know, being able to play other people. Alright. Oh, it's not even nighttime. But anyway, the. If you want to really min max, you could pop the Mr. Sandman on when it's nighttime out, and it 100% extra uh, damage is pretty, it's pretty sick. Um, anyway. Let me show you the fixer versus the railway. So here's going to be a fixer. Get our food up here. Here you're sneaking. So that was a fixer. I don't know. Was that like a half second? I didn't actually. That might just drop one of my pieces of armor, did I? In, 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 in. You can't even tell when it's night. Just look up. You see, if you see stars, it's night. Otherwise, yeah, the lighting is kind of hard to tell. Fixer versus railway. Should probably do this. Test on uh, the the Alert Queens because they got more health. Knights are too fast. Yeah, what is it like? What sixteen or eighteen hours a day and then six hours a night or something? Something dumb. All right. Show you a railway. This behemoth is one of the higher higher health dudes in the game. But uh railway kill the thing so fast you can't even really see its health bar go down. Three, two, one. <laughs> that railway is just so OP. You can see the clock on your pit boy. Um, you can stat the clock on your pit boy. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I always forget about that. Yeah, it's 2 30. Well, that's one benefit of using this view. I always use this view so I could see what's going on while I'm pit boying it up. Yeah. All right. Let me show you that actually the railway demonstration is best on the uh, the Mylar Queen because uh, Mylar Queen I can't kill Mylar Queen with one one full mag of the um, fixer with my bloodied one with a quad I, I should be able to. But railway is not a stealth weapon at all. <laughs> it's just uh let's run in and shoot this mofo in his face. Definitely got our adrenaline up. There's the Myler King. 
Alright. Come on, douche. Where are you? There you go. It always startles me. Alright, make sure I'm out of combat. So I got 20 rounds here. Let's see if I can kill it in 20 rounds. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Well, that one you can actually see the health bar going down. Alright, let me show you the difference with the railway, though. Okay. Uh, I think I, I actually did this test yesterday, and I... I gotta kill the little ads first. They, they murder, murdered me. I should see how many people are even watching. Oh, we got 15 people watching. Hey, everyone, the uh, YouTube -y stuff. Make sure you guys click like and subscribe, and all that stuff helps the channel. YouTube commentary ended. Okay. Let me hide that again. Get that on my way. All right. Where is. Where am I? Oh, I'm at the wrong place. We need to go to the island marsh. Uh, those, these are two places that reliably have Mylar Queens. There's another one down in the, um, Cranberry Bog, too. I, I always come here, because anytime there's a daily to get, um, Mylar stuff. Those dudes. Let me kill all these extra guys before I kill the queen. Because they're going to be jerks. Oh, I accidentally tagged her. Alright. Alright, three, two, one. Ready? That actually kind of felt the same. See this, uh, the Mylar King's got a lot of armor. So any armor seems to actually work better on it. Oh, well, not when you're quitting for a thousand. Uh, but yeah, the whole, this, that's why the adrenaline, once you get your adrenaline up, that's why I'm tagging all the little things on the side for the extra 60% damage, nerd rage. Once you get everything going, it's 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 a few few fest. Hello, what's up, Stark? Alright, uh Okay, these little dishes. Alright, yeah, so for the April 1st for the the uh holiday event. And I will make a video before. I'll have to redo all this stuff and actually record it better. Um, but Mango. Uh, so all of these, I've lost these. They've already been attacked and everything. But I can still, since I'm on my private server and we're pretending I took over all 21 of them. I could still I could go back here and fast travel them. Don't even have to take them over again. Um, uh, there are some bugs. Like let's say I accidentally disconnect from my private um and and immediately come back in uh the bases will still be there and um you just have to go basically visit them just go one by one and visit them you don't even really have to take them back over just getting close enough will put them back on your map and so yeah for everyone that did, did come on uh, don't forget, on April 1st is going to be the holiday event, the holiday scorched event, and your your collectrons at your base, you can set them to Christmas gifts. Um, the naughty and nice thing, if you if you had it, I don't know if they're actually going to give the plan tomorrow, but uh, that's what we're setting up with this thing, uh, showing you how to basically make this blueprint. Oh, I can't. I can't do it while there's dudes around. But you can take over all your workshops, set up a three-story high, thing with three three dudes, or three stairs, and um, place a collectron. You want it to be, you want to basically have one square worth of space 
all around it so that nothing from down below can shoot it and um, in your it's under miscellaneous you could put down your fast travel target space you just come here I just collect all the stuff and after taking over all the workshops once an hour just fast travel to all of them and gee, you could get hundreds of the Christmas presents to open and they give uh, a script to get legendary modules um, the one starting in in two hours is aliens because today's the 31st tomorrow is the first and that's going to be the holiday event that's why today's my I'm going to be doing all this I'm going to record a video like hey don't forget don't miss out tomorrow for um, an insane amount of, of uh, script you know yeah And if you really want to go all hardcore, stay in your private, take over all the workshops. And in the meantime, you can go over and actually um, just farm the normal scorts the normal way and go kill kill them. And just come back here once an hour, whatever. Oh, here's a good example. This dude got engaged because I was here. Um, but you can kind of see from their angle of everything down there. It, stuff has to be pretty far away to shoot this there is that one dude who will put your all over here and he sometimes i'll leave and i'll come back and he'll just have been sitting there shooting one bullet at a time and he'll destroy it and you don't really have to worry about taking over these since it's three stories high they'll just be down there meandering but once you engage them, like if I left right now with them shooting at me, they will come up here and destroy the thing. So, don't have to worry about retaking it. Want the winning lottery numbers, right? So stay stealth down. Defend. So, stay crouched. So when I come here... The dudes, the dudes that have been there for that defense that I lost like 40 minutes ago will probably just be slowly cruising around. And if you're lucky and you didn't get any really heavy junk in your Collectron, you, normally I get like five or six presents. The most I think I've ever actually got was like eight presents in the... Uh, in one try and then like you know whatever some other trash in there some candy or something but that little fast travel point from the miscellaneous thing you fast travel directly to it if i can load in there you go so you just come here obviously it, you only get presents in the sanatron thing um during the event but yeah fast travel there and then uh, once you have them all taken over, I don't know, it takes like 10 minutes. Click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and then I normally go from these workshops. I kind of go around to here. Here and I kind of zigzag from here to over here. Back here. Up to these two workshops. And I go down to here. And then here. Then up to here. Here back down and just kind of do a full circle and I'll once I get back back down to my base and I obviously check my own one and my my uh, buddies with me here is three collectrons um, just kind of wait a half hour and kind of rinse and repeat so Bex changed my name from Jack to my PlayStation name nice And uh, there you go. Yeah, Vex, um, Jack. It's kind of the the biggest point with playing the Fallout 76 is to you know to find some people to play with and uh, kind of go up from there. This game is you can play it solo. Totally, I, I typically tend to play it solo. Um, uh, but yeah, I've spent a lot of a lot of time playing with other people too, and it can be a lot of fun. 
good stuff to do. You know, go run events with people. It's fun. Go hang out with Perf. Perf, Perf seems like a cool, cool person. Person. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm not gonna go take him over women. I'll wait. I don't know. Sometime today, I'll I'll go and I, I guess I won't do it in the stream. I'll record it out of the stream. I'll do the full hour it takes to take over, and then I'll edit it all out, and I'll have a, a better guide on how to take over each workshop and stuff. Uh, maybe I don't want to jack. Such an interesting sentence, depending on how you say. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to. Alright, anyway, let's go address some squirrels. Um, yeah, does anyone, uh... What's it? Does anyone want to pop on and come do some stuff? We could do the meat week stuff. I definitely do want to do. I want to focus on uh, doing at least some of the alien event today. I want to see if I could farm farm. Uh, if I could farm up one alien blaster plan, that would be sweet. Uh, that's the one plan I'm missing for um, the giveaways. Um, I want to do. Actually, you know what? I do want to do some giveaways um, today. I haven't done a giveaway in a while. Uh, what's it? I do want to hook up with you. I want to give you all that stuff, too. Um, Muni Hunt. Oh, yeah. I never got around to doing that. Armor. I'm going to hide this. All right. Muni Hunt. I'm going to hide that as well. All right. Uh, but, yeah, if anyone's interested in... <clears throat> in the um for any of these events if you're trying to like be a completionist and you want to know what every single plan are um obviously you can look it up other places there's um you know you can the fed 76 looking up the plans for each event um you can go there but i i already pre-made a list over here of every event so for the holiday stuff that's coming up tomorrow um, I think it's actually a combination of these two, uh, holiday gifts and the holiday plans. These are the new ones. Uh, let me make that bigger. So you guys can see them. All right. These are going to disconnect again. Um, but these are all the holiday plans that you can get during that event on Tuesday. Straw goat's the new one. Plus, um, uh, you know, like the vintage water cooler. All that stuff. Uh, the alien blaster, or alien event today. These are what you can get: the alien blaster plan, the cryo mag, alien tube, human tube, asteroid, and all that stuff. Um. And uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know if you guys want to copy, but this is basically just my little collection page that I linked. Um, but yeah, I got a list of everything. I just typed, basically I typed this all out for giveaways. So I could just, you know, do this and hit control V and copy it to paste in the little raffle page. Um anyway. Squirrels. But I got a list of every different plan combination, like every magazine, uh, yada yada yada. Okay. Alright, let's go see if we can get a Shielded casual lighting under armor. I can give that away today. That's rare. It's the only reason to do the Queen of the Hunt event anymore. And it is not in the mutated pack, so it's still still got some nice value. You'll hop on and unload your tune though. Um Yeah. And once I do script today, I can uh I need to go and sort out I, when I did script yesterday, I got I got my uh, the three different alts that had the stuff ready to organize. I got them put down to one guy. He probably got everything in Fallout. I do not have everything in Fallout. Uh, this is my I intentionally made this a long, long term. My goal is to have every god roll in the game, and you can see all the white spaces are ones that I'm missing. So. I intentionally gave myself something that's going to take me like years. 
or for solo, this would take him like a week and a half. <laughs> but I don't trade it. I don't trade anymore. I, I have such a bad taste in my mouth from trading. Um, so I, I farm. Anyway, um, but everything I need, yeah. I, well, not every, technically. I got. I don't have a full set of uh, of God roll. Uh, Secret Service, but I'm gonna roll the see if I can get a god roll set of the uh, civil engineer. I'll do another roll session of that before Tuesday. I'm gonna do a hundred rolls on video for Tuesday and Saturday until I'm done. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't uh, have everything. Uh, no, I don't know. It, it well, it depends on what you mean by have everything. I mean, technically, yeah, I, I I'm way way got everything i'll ever need and many many different kinds of combinations of stuff um but i don't have everything when i say everything i mean like literally 100 percent completed of every possible cool thing i don't have there you are blow holes is his weak spot oh yeah another thing jack uh, with your concentrated fire perk you can cycle through stuff you know, kind of get used. You'll kind of start to learn where the weak spots are on dudes. Um, you know, for a lot of things, headshots like for humans, heads gonna be the thing that you're gonna do the most damage on. But like for like robots, the heads actually like their their most uh, armored spots. So you want to get like their combat inhibitor or the Mister Gusties that are you know the ones with the little engine making them float in the air. It's basically a one shot if you shoot them in the thruster. You know, isn't the civil engineer a uh, tradable jetpack? Yeah, yeah. For tradable armors, civil engineer is leaps and bounds the very best tradable armor. Like, there's no comparison. Um, It's bonkers better than scout, better than uh, heavy. I think heavy combat might have, like, a little bit more of one uh, of uh, defense. What do you call it? Um, uh, uh, damage resist, resistance. But like, bonkers amount of everything else. So civil engineers right up there with recon and uh, and uh, secret service. But yeah, you could trade it, and it's got a jetpack. It's definitely the go-to tradable thing from now until the end of time until they bring up something new. That is the biggest hugest part of this this uh patch where they they included a new mega god roll set of stuff but obviously for people that have been farming and you have a full set of secret service that's going to be better so but for everyone else that doesn't have full sets of secret service boom boom Bye bye scout. Bye bye heavy combat. Bye bye leather. Um, I think leather still, you know, like leather still got better resistance for what it's got. You know, wah, wah, nothing good. But yeah. Anyway. Um. Okay. Um. Did we get our dailies done? We got all our dailies done. Weeklies are done. It looks pretty spiffy. Yeah. You know the best part about the way that Secret Service looks. You could put an apparel on so you don't have to look at it. <laughs> I think Secret Service looks so dumb. Well, that's the cool, th cool thing with armor. You know, you can either uh, have your armor showing. Like, that just looks so dumb to me. <laughs> Having your armor showing. You know, I got one piece of... I got a Secret Service chest on, a Secret Service leg. I got Scout legs, Scout arms. Uh, casual Under Armour, or I could just pop this on and look cool. Oh, you neglected my dudes. All right, I hear the cremator is really good too. Yeah, it looks really cool. I I uh, was very disappointed. It's just like the auto axe and the nuke launcher and all those. You can't script them. Um. And that's kind of a deal breaker for me. Um, since it's not something that I'm going to use. 
anytime soon, I'm not going to be rolling them. I did like 10 rerolls on one, and I gave up with, um, what did I get, a Berserker one? I kind of, I just, this is the point where I gave up. I, I had an anti armor one and a bladed one with bad stars, but I kept rolling. But, uh, I don't like wasting modules. So, anyway, but yeah, this thing's pretty, it's pretty OP. It's fun, too. Some of it looks pretty spiffy, especially in some paints. Yeah, some of it looks pretty cool. Three meters OP, period. Hey, student of the game, long time. How do I join you for some alien events? Um, do you have Mr. Morp added? Uh, Giga, there you go. Giga Res. Come on, buggy. Click, 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 click. All right. Well, hopefully it went through. There it goes. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll be hopping around public servers. Um, once the alien event starts. And um. With the alien alien event of for those of you guys that haven't done it before, uh, it's not like you know Fashnak is always at Helvetia. Um, the alien event will be at different spots. Like one spot will be at Dire Chemical. One, uh, I think it's one one zone, like the Myers Dire Chemical. The uh, Savage Divide is um, uh, where is it at the Savage Divide? Somewhere. <laughs> um, it'll be at the Overgrown Sundew Grove. For here, you know, uh, one hour I'll be at Charleston for the forest. Um, I forget where it is here. Toxic Valley, it's going to be the water park. And um, so, yeah, I'll, um, I think I'll, I'll, I'm going to do the method of, uh, I'm going to put one of my alts for, Spread them out in four servers, and whichever one gets done fast, I'll try to like all hop around. Um, or we can just we can all hang out. Um, uh, I'll join all my dudes on one server, so there's like a bunch of different open spots. So that'll be fun. Uh, we got that in um, two and a half hours. It uh, it kind of varies with the events, like you know, on server reset, normally like whatever the instead of it automatically switching to the next event on the hour will be whatever event will be so the hour after server reset will be uh the one ashes garahan garahan mining company do, 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 do. i cannot remember where that is i don't remember where that is oh yeah 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 of course um uh, yeah 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 down where you start the excavator quest. Sorry, it's been a while. Yeah, so one event will be there. Um, talk Savage Divide. I missed the start of the stream. Uh, what are you currently doing? Um, with all the oh yeah, hey you. Um, on. Let me let me bust out. Um, give me one second to scroll up here. Scroll up. Okay, here we go. Open in browser. Okay, so these are the events. Um, these are the events that are we're currently doing right now. Thank you, Mango, for posting this. Uh, so the first event, the Adam Shop thing, was the Fashnack. So this that day that event was Fashnack, and then it was the holiday, uh, or no, the the Feral Ghoul. So the sec next day's hourly event, or not hourly event, but the the event for that day was the Halloween, and currently in the Meat Week. And today's Adam Shop bundle is the Alien Invaders event. So for the thirty first through April first is on the hours gonna be Alien. But uh, the next day is the Holiday Scorched. And I don't know if you guys have done the Holiday Scorched event before. It's just like the uh, Halloween one where. Anywhere they're scorched, you can go and kill them to get the Halloween things. But with Christmas, you get holiday gifts. And um, with the holiday gifts, um, there's a Collectron that if you were there, I don't know whether or not they're going to have it on the Atom Shop to get the Sanatron Collector. But you can set your Collectron to get gifts, and you can go check it. And uh, when you open up those gifts, it gives you Scrip, Scrip and Caps. 
as well as plans and stuff. So uh, today's goal, I'm making a video, a refresh video. I have another one up there somewhere. I couldn't, I couldn't find it. Uh, but if you go on your private world, you can take over all 21 workshops and go check them every, you know, half hour or every hour. You can get hundreds and hundreds of gifts an hour. And uh, you can get so much freaking script. Um, I think one holiday event I got, uh, I don't know, like 800 or 900 or 1,000 modules um, by doing I think I was, that might have been when they were still giving script for the gift wraps. I think last time during the event, you'd be able to go here and um, click on miscellaneous and buy the gift wraps to make them yourself, but they stopped giving script in those. But these ones, that ones that you loot from bodies and also the ones that you collect from your Sanatron will give gifts. Let me show you what they look like up here. Does it have to be a Sanatron collector? It does not. If you know, if you've if you've got the Sanatron before, um, you can go and switch any any um, electron into this. But this is what it looks like. The Sanatron one. He's got a little Christmas hat on it. Um, but if you already know it, let me show you at my base. You can you can click on the little computer thingy on it and you can switch it to do holiday gifts over here click on your terminal and then you can you know switch it whatever you want like so now i got it doing whatever that is and this is also a great method for what i was showing for mango if you wanted to farm experience and you needed a bunch of nuka colas now so i have it set to nuka colas and if I went to every workshop and I had all of the workshops set to Nuka Colas, every half hour I can go and just collect up a bunch. So that uh, it'll definitely save you some time. But the gist is, I only did uh, four or five of them. You stay crouched, and then you go over here. And uh, let me show. There's thin and miscellaneous um, to get your little fast travel spot like a little uh, uh doormat hey Paris, how's it going newcomer here how's it going? welcome welcome to the welcome to the morp world so yeah take over all 21 workshops this is the little fast travel item that's in your um, miscellaneous tab so when you fast travel you fast travel right here you just go over here you collect up your presence and here, I'll show you, give you a look at what it looks like. As long as you make it three stories high, um, all the stuff that's down on the bottom, you see how they're just kind of meandering around? Like, I haven't, you know, I've already lost this defense on this place, but I can still fast travel to it. So I take that over. I just stay crouched, and I just, you know, I'll take them all over. Take about It takes about an hour or so to take them all over. Do not care about defenses. Don't you don't have to to babysit them all. Um, you can just let them die and it's fine. Let me get rid of the stuff here. There we go. And um, that's why when I set up the blueprint, actually let me do a whole new different one. I'll show you. There's a, I, I, either I'm doing it wrong or. Or there's just a general issue with it. Uh, I can't seem to make a blueprint with everything on it at once. I have to like have one blueprint to make the base, and then one blueprint to put down the uh, the stash boxes and all that stuff. When I made a blueprint with everything, uh, it doesn't. It keeps saying it needs support. Uh, but anyway, don't play Fallout 76, but played every single Fallout series except this one. What do you think, Fallout 6? Um, in terms of content, no. Fallout the, the you know Fallout Three, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout Four are great because of the story. You know, you get you really get. Uh, and I really got like hooked to the story, and and uh, this one has basically jack squad of a story. Um, this one's better just for you know playing with friends, playing with people. If you're into grinding and you know you want to like just play uh this is definitely the most fun um as far as building i don't know like i would guess fallout 4 would be really good i've never been a builder but um anyway
anyway. Um, I really like it. I think Fall New Vegas was story wise was my favorite, and it's been long enough that I I'd forgotten enough about the story. I'm gonna I'm really kind of looking forward to playing it again. Fallout Four was the first one I played, and then I played three, and then New Vegas, and then a bunch of different games, and then this one. That'd be cool if they did a a reboot of of New Vegas, or um, just made it better. I'm not what do you, what what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not a revamp or a, like what they did with Fallout Four recently. And, Gave it a texture pack and made it all modern looking. So yeah, I'll do one. I'll do one last one last. Uh, show you how to set up a thingy. But yeah, you just fast travel here. This will be full of presents. Um, each time you know, you can kind of scrap as you go because these presents are weigh one pound each. And you know, by the time that you take over tw all, you go collect up all twenty-one of them. You'll have hundreds of pounds of pre presents. So just kind of open them all up, put away what you want to keep. Remastered. There you go. Fallout Four was your first Fallout. Yep, yeah, Fallout Four was my start. I'm a late comer. Um. So yeah, let's like I'd go over here and I'm kind of just show the whole gist of taking over a workshop. Show you how to do the uh, the uh, blueprint. I made a blueprint of that little base that I'm at. Um, so I just pop it down. It it goes really fast, actually. The story's just got better and better for you, working backwards. Yeah, yeah. It is uh, Fallout 3. Technically, I don't really remember much of the story. Um, but the California stuff in... Uh, was New Vegas the uh, California Republic thingy? I don't forget. I forget who the bad guys were in three. That was good though. See the thruster? I was talking about the axe. The thruster is this weak spot. It should one shot him. Yeah. So like this torso, his head's actually going to have a lot of defense, but his combat inhibitor, you're going to take a lot of damage on it. Anyway, so yeah, you come over here. This is all for the video I'm going to make uh, to be released before Monday. Take over the workshops. And you can just hold down your B for keyboard. You don't actually have to go and click on it. Once it's claimed, I'll pop down that little blueprint I just made, uh, that I made previously. <laughs> but salt center is pretty cool. Kind of fault. Yeah, that we we always, always we were always joking around when Fault seventy six first came out. It's basically the fall of four DLC. Um, and I've always kind of thought of that joke, but then I recently played Fallout four again. And it was like, oh man, this is like totally different than Fallout 76. So anyway, so this is a blueprint that I made of of that thing, which is three stories high with that Collectron. And you can kind of place it. Um, not that it really matters, but if you place, see if I put the stairway, they can walk up there. Sometimes they do. But if you place the stairway so that like there's an obstruction or something so they can't, basically so they can't walk up the stairs, it helps. So I'll put it right in front of that little park bench that's down there. Um, so you see that no one can walk up it. Sometimes it kind of helps. And I just have a second blueprint up here. Uh, just to put these down, just to kind of make it quicker. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you put it. Just as long as they can't shoot it. And, uh, the key here is you want to have a, basically one square's worth of space away from this. So one square here, one square here. So that just with the angles... That everything that's down here can't shoot the Collectron. Um, and since it's three stories up, normally they don't even see it. But if, if they are shooting at it, they won't destroy it. Most of the time. Depends in, depending on the workshop, though. So the stuff that's down here on the ground, you know, 
they'd have to really be at the right angle to hit it. So you don't you don't have to worry about it. You don't really have to come back and do defenses. And when you fast travel to it, really important you keep this uh, the fast travel thing in there. And you find that it, this only works in workshops. It's gonna be in miscellaneous structures. And you're gonna go down. It'll be different how much stuff you have. And you have there. It's, it's got. If you see up on the right. It's a fast travel target. And it's just a mat. Wherever you put this mat in the base, uh, like if I place it over here, I'm gonna fast travel when I fast travel here to that spot. But so I just put it right up right next to this thing, so I could just stay crouched. I just stay crouched and fast travel from one to one to one to one to one once I take them all over. Because of how they get the A-list actors to do voiceovers. Yeah. And, um, do I still have the map up? I think I do. Um, I gotta find a better map, because this map was old. Um, the, um, this, this isn't a workshop anymore. This is only 21. And, uh, it doesn't matter what order you do them in, just as long as you collect them in the same order. Like, I normally start, like, one, two, three, four, five. You know, I'll start here, I'll kind of go this little path. I go up here, I'll go down here. Click, 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 and then I start back over at my base. And, um, you know, it takes about 10 minutes for me to fast travel to each one to collect up all the collectrons. And once I get back to home, you can, I can just go and I can go watch Netflix for a half hour. Or, I mean, if you really wanted to really farm the crap out of them, you can use that time to actually go to the, the places with Scorched and actually kill the normal ones. And you could farm just a bonkers amount of, at a script. Uh, during the event. Alright. Who played Valentine in uh, Fallout 4? Um, that's a good question. It is good. I was thinking about that. We were talking about that the other day. Uh, Valentine Fallout uh, 4 voice actor. I remember looking this up years ago and he looks absolutely nothing like uh, the dude. Steven Russell. There you go. Alright. Let me go back. That's Valentine. Voice actor. Never heard of him. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that dude. See that? That guy's will destroy the base. Obviously. Jeez. Sometimes the uh, the physics in this game, he's flying three miles an hour, you shoot him in the face, and he flies 600 miles an hour that way. Not what I expected, though. Yeah. Come on, I want my one-star script. How far did you fly? Anyway. All right. Um, so, yeah, who's on right now? Um, we got Solo on, it's got Stark on. Does anyone want to, like, um, you guys want to do Meat Week or something in 10 minutes? Farm some expeditions? Um, anything. We got 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and then we got two hour on the hour uh, events before aliens start. Um, he's now in the future map expansion. Not what I expected. Valentine. Valentine's going to be in Fallout 4? Or Fallout 76, the next uh, big expansion? Very kind of cool. Are they going to make them all pretty, or is he going to still have a jacked up face and need a new skin? Alright. Oh, I got a message from what the heck yeah, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Start the stream. SGS, I... Oh, these are that old message. How am I feeling? Solo, are you still here? What's it? Yeah, you're still here. 
Yeah, after that stream, I was feeling earlier. I was feeling tired and planned on taking a nap, and I went to sleep, and I slept about 11, 11 hours. So I'm feeling really good. Feeling a lot better. Ready to take over the world. Alright. Um, what can I go do? We got time to kill. Eight minutes. Do I want to go mess around with the base we were working on in the member stream? Or do I want to go look for a dress? Or do both? Let's go do both. How about that? Get this guy from DC in. Glad you're back up and running. And feeling awesome, so awesome. Feel much better, yeah. Alright, let's go do one dress reset. Um and then uh during meet week I'll go mess around with that base. Wait in the members stream. Oh yeah, what's it and solo showed up. We just were working on a little base over by Meat Week. <laughs> just messing around. Little Mr. Mark Channel advertisement. I, uh, I'd like to do more. Um, I gotta figure out some more fun stuff to do for, like, the member stuff. You're gonna be a jerk and attack me? You are, aren't you? There's a fix for that. There we go. Okay. Let's go see if we can get a dress. We're gonna mess around and eat meat. Yeah, it was fun. I'm not really a builder. Like, 80% of my entire experience building bases was with you yesterday. What's it? <laughs> Alright. Um... Here, instead of explaining all of this, I'm just going to link my video guide for this. That my video guide that no one seems to watch. All that work we did to let's sit in those streams for like a month and a half. And it's been like a month and barely anyone's watched this. Anyway, I have a full guide on arming the red dress and stuff. Um, my updated, updated guide. Anyway, let's go and spawn. Get this to spawn. Lies, I've seen pictures. Yeah, I don't know how much total. Less than less than twenty five hours over my entire game time. I I would say has been in base building. That seems more realistic. Because when I do go build what should take an hour, it seems to take me like four or five. Pictures of past bases I made. They've all been here. This is the same base I've been working on. Actually, when I, I'll go do a custom reset. I'll even load my custom world. I'll show you my the base I have now. Show what it looked like five years ago. <laughs> it's just how it works. You get into it. You know. Actually, yeah. I wouldn't mind reminiscing on that. Yeah, I'm so glad I did that. It was years, five years ago, or however many years ago now it was. I clicked on that custom world and I, um, the only time I've ever messed around with a custom world, I added my little character over, the one I'm playing right now, back when he was level 300, and it saved my base and it saved all that thing, so it's a nice little time capsule. Um, but yeah, same spot there at Sutton, the same setup, my kind of multi-level thingy. And it looked like that until recently. Oh, no, I, yeah, I take that back. I did have a little base over there by White Springs. I had that base back then, too, because it was where I, I would collect water. And then I turned that into 
kind of my main base for a little while. Back when I, when I had my vendor open. But, um, yeah, pretty much I've had two spots. Alright, got a brown dress. I got no enclaves, so I didn't fully load in, so we're going to do a couple more load ins. Alright, let's go do, let's do five more. We'll force all of them all to load. Five hours of building, uh, one other night, and I accidentally moved it. Oh, I, I remember you saying that. Uh, yes, uh, you basically screwed the whole build, right? You'd have to, even if you put it back exactly perfect where your thing was, that little blueprint of moving it, 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 it can't go back down, right? That sucks. I did that with my original base, uh, double budget and sent data, yeah. I actually did that with the base at White Springs. That was the kind of the nail on the straw for me to go back and get my Sutton base back up. I accidentally moved it and I couldn't place it back down. So I was like, screw it. I was getting annoyed with that base anyway because it kept getting attacked every time I load in. It would force uh, enemies to spawn. Oh, I'm going too fast. That's why they're not spawning. Pretty cranky now. Yeah. Um, did it crash? No, nope, just a long load. Alright. I'm going to do meat week. Here. Alright. We got two minutes. Let's uh, let's hustle here. All right. So once you load in, give it a second or so for it to load. I'm gonna do two more, and then it all load. We're giving up. many people are watching and we got uh, 17 thanks everyone they're joining make sure to click like and subscribe and stuffy stuffy youtube stuff all right we got meat week started let's go get meat week going um see i'll come join you uh is it Rex? Sorry, I forgot the name. A Giga Rex. I'm gonna join you. Where are ya? I'm gonna come do meet week with ya. Let's go check this one though. Don't forget to turn up yeah, no forget to turn on notifications. All that YouTube stuff I'm supposed to say every time. <laughs> like and subscribe and blah blah blah. All this stuff stubby. Alright. So we got a white to spawn and another white. Alright. Let's go hang out with Gigarex. Ah damn it. It's not removed, friend. How dare you? How dare you remove yourself? Come on. Clicky, clicky. There you go.
It's annoying how they the auto click things on block sometimes or ban or report or whatever. Enjoy my alts to some random worlds. <laughs> weak, weak. Your meat week rewards um i haven't really been messing around with it too much i got uh two of the meat tenderizer which is the big one which is amazing uh how do you maximize your the meat the event rewards personally um i play multi i played four counts at once so i, I put my four alts on four different servers and uh, whichever one finishes first, just like with um, a fast snack, like if this one was taking a long time, one finishes, I could fast, you know, join the other server. So, you know, instead of getting doing the events once an hour, some, some, some of the times I've got enough to like, I think on fast snack, the most I got was 11, 11, uh, 11 masks or 11 shots at it, 11 tries uh, on one hour. That's pretty rare. Normally I get like, Normally I get like a double dip once or twice. Seven seem five to seven seems to be the normal average of what I get. Um, as far as maximizing, there's no real other trick. Um, if there's an event that has, uh, if there's a plan that's untradeable, you know, like with a holiday event, um, if it has like, uh, the, you know, the V two Hellfire paint. You want to make sure that you you learn every untradeable plan first because otherwise it'll give you duplicates and if you're only getting one plan per event it that uh will take up a spot for something else you can get otherwise that's kind of that's kind of it for maximizing stuff and it all just comes down to rng you know grind harder <laughs> You know, loot greens when you can. Kind of loot it all. This event, if there's a lot of people here, it's normally done in like a couple minutes. Loot all so that it can kind of show the highlighted ones, the ones that are left. You know, so this one's got a critter bit on it. Hit loot all. It'll show the ones with pretty reds left. Pretty chunks, I mean. Alright. Should this be enough to finish it? Not quite. Gigarex. Oh, oh Gigarex is not even not even here for the event. Not many people participating. You kind of clean up these. I don't think they add too much to the, the score. Should totally be enough. Should finish it off. So from here, like now, all the other uh, other servers, yeah, the other servers already finished. Ours took the longest. Anyway, what did I get? 
anything cool? Did I not even get a plan or I've got a duplicate or something? No meat tenderizer. Potato salad. Nothing good. What'd you get? Ramen grill. Yeah. Um. Uh, if um. You know, I'm, a lot of people talk about finding Graham out in the world to get his rare plans. Um, this event makes that useless. <laughs> like, for all during Meat Week, Graham is always going to be here. You can, uh, if you have a buddy on the server, you can come here. You can check him to see if he's got that rare plan. You can go switch to your next alt. You, know, you got five alts that possible on here. Switch to your next alt, check him to get the rare plans. Switch to your next guy, you know... Keep on, and also if you have it on a private server, you could just cycle through the dude. Like every single one of Graham's plans, I've got like 75 each of everything. Makes uh, farming Graham useless. Anyways. Let's go see what Gigarex is doing. Oh, yeah, they just finished. Anyway, we have a Rex. Alright, hey -o. So, we got, um, there'll be another meet week on the hour at server reset, and then, so the next hour will be the first alien event. Alright, um, okay. So, what should we do with our hour? Who's on? We got a what's it? Uh, we got solo. What's it? Uh, Want to go do something? Glue consumer. Oh, glue. I don't know if uh, glue's in the stream or not. I was hoping for Charlie the Moo Moo uh, set. Oh well. Oh geez, only. Or JP, you're on console, aren't you? I was gonna say I I've got like a hundred of the outfits. If you're on PC, I'll. Can give you five full sets for uh, each one of your alt. <laughs> yeah, I got freaking so many of those. I got so many of those outfits on one of my alts that, like, I can't open the pit boy without it, like, putting my frame rates down to barely anything. Um, actually, you know what? Let's give away some of those. Nah, I'm on PC. You're on PC? Well, freaking add Mr. Morph to Discord. I'm gonna freaking give you a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I'll give you five full sets, dude. I'll, or do that. I don't know. Whatever you are. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, I'll hook you up. Or I'll give you a move, move set for each one of your alts. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting that last uh, meet week, two week event. I, uh, all four of my accounts, I was there every hour, 20 hours a day, just like when I was sleeping, I was AFK'd here, you know. I, I got like a hundred full sets. I've been trying to give them away, and I I got tired of doing it. Everyone, friend, everyone I know has got a move set. <laughs> Is that you? Hit that. There you go. Or did I? Move? Oh, actually, I think I moved them all to a different alt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I moved them to. I moved them to. Armor niche armor. Okay, so it's this alt. Um. I forgot. I moved my armor set, dude. Over leave world. You are on that guy. Okay. Alright.
people join Discord. Oh yeah, uh, everyone, we do have a Discord. Uh, Mr. Mort Discord. This is my long-term private Discord or group of friends we were playing with, and I turned it into the Discord for the um basically for the YouTube channel. But yeah, if you guys want to come join, you know, um, all the raffles I do and giveaways during the stream, I'll do it in the raffle channel. Plus, I give away other stuff in here. Also, since YouTube kind of sucks with uh, sometimes with, even when you have the notifications turned on, it uh, it won't show. But I have a little auto thing set so you can highlight that. So it'll every time I post anything, it uh, it auto posts in here. If you're interested. Got a little members only channel for people with memberships. It's basically just me and a what's it bullshit or talking and chatting in here. What Mr. Marp Chat, this is basically the channel that I use for anytime I'm gonna be doing anything stream related or channel related. And then we got the uh people to talk in this chat. I got it set up for kind of looking for group channels. I have uh, all the Fallout news set. Like all the basic bots you can get, I have it all set up there. New codes. Every time the new codes reset, you can come in here and find out what they are. Stuff like that. Anyway, uh, let's get some sets of stuff for JP. JP. Oh, trade bug. Put him in a container over here. Good morning. One, two, three, four, five. Um, but yeah, did it? Yeah, I wasn't kidding here. I got five full outfits for you. You can deck out all your alts. Give them away to your friends. Great at all. Anyone else wants one, let me know. Oh, yeah, you really can't join me when I do that. I'm not on the server. I am sorry. What did you say your name was? Uh, JP? Um, I'll just join myself here. Oh, far gas. Far gas years on. Do, 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 do. Sorry about that. I forgot to switch back and join the world. Take a Rex. Oops, I didn't mean to fast travel. I had to join the team. Was your name? Sorry, I clicked it so fast. I uh, says you're at the main menu. I should be on now. Kelly, all around. Whoop, whoop. What was your name? I clicked it so fast. I, I uh, trying to remember what it was. I can come to you. Actually, let me, uh, here, I'll give my Mr. Morp this and I'll, whatever server you're on, I'll come and join you. Joining you, all right, right on. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, I'll give you five sets. You can give them to your friends or get one for all, whatever you want to do. Got to wait around until Meat Week comes back. Missed a few, I think. All right, Mango. Uh, or I can give you whatever you're missing, unless you want to just farm it yourself. You got Meat Week. Meat Week's actually coming up. 
like in a month. This one. Yeah, they are not skimping on the events this season. Um, two helpings of meat week is coming um, May twenty first. Um, yeah, we're gonna have uh, so Monday is gonna uh, what we had five days in a row of events. Uh, April first is gonna be the holiday thing, and then we're gonna go right into Mothman, Mothman Equinox on the April second, two weeks, and then what like a week off, or is it two weeks off? Two weeks off, right into the Alien Invader event. Uh, Alien Invader went one week off. Meet week for two weeks. Week off, then right into, uh, no, two weeks off and then Fashnack. Yeah, they, uh, they are not messing around with this one. You ever, you ever find, find yourself in a bind, you always call enough. Here you go. I don't know how long the is there a really long delay in the stream versus in the game? JP, you gotta turn around. I think we can make this place you're caught out and about with no place to go. You're self and just have an outpost in class. JP? Alright, well, somebody ran up here. JP? I don't know who this other person is. Dude, they must not be watching the stream anymore. It's in the container behind you. Oh, I don't think. There you go. Just don't use explosive weapons when you're shooting stuff around there. We'll tag the dudes. Only nine things, nine things from Alien Invader, but um, I believe so. The Alien Invader event has, um, I want to say there's more. Alien Blaster plane, which is really rare. The three mags for the Alien Blaster, the stash box tube, so five. There are nine things, yeah. You had to do that to me too. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Charlie, moo moo, moo moo, moo moo, moo moo. Yeah, if anyone wants a, uh, if anyone else wants one of those, I got my alt on. Got like a whole bunch left. I think after that last farm and that last one, I had like a hundred of them. I'm giving away like 50 of them and still have freaking a lot left. Oh, Alien Blaster is rare. It is very, very rare. Yeah. Uh, like, same with like the meat tenderizer for the meat week thing. Like, I got like a hundred of each of the other plans and one Alien Blaster plan playing four accounts last, uh, last Alien event. Woo woo! Uh oh I won't mind if yeah, come on in, Mango. Here. 
Okay, I really want to get rid of all the stuff of this alt. Um, I farm too much stuff. I, and I'm a hoarder. Well, I'm, I'm an ex-hoarder. That's my, that's, that's what we're talking, what we're calling it. Oh yeah, freaking fast travel bug, or a uh, trade bug. Uh, let me go in event. See if it's me or if it's my all by me. I'm gonna show all the stuff I want to give away. Uh, were they rare? The 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 Mumu Appets sort of rare. Um, I don't I don't have I don't know the the drop rates for them. You know, I, you know, fashion act, they have that people put out that pretty picture with the drop rates for everything. I, I don't have any of those saved for meat week stuff. Um, I did at one point had a Google sheet for it. There is like a Google sheet somewhere for it. Uh, like the meat tenderizer, um, was like a really low drop rate. Um, uh, alien blaster plan. Either I've been really unlucky, it's like, um, actually, let's look it up. Let's look it up. How about we do that? Uh, anyone got Adeline um, from the scoreboard? I haven't clicked. Is that the, the, um, the new ally? I haven't done, I haven't done anything with the scoreboard at all, really. Alien Blaster. Alien Blast. Oh, yeah. Click here for drop rates. Oh, here you go. Here's the drop rates for the event. So the Alien Blaster. The Alien Blaster Souvenir Beer Stein. When you get it, make sure you learn it immediately. So it'll stop dropping. Otherwise, it's taken up a spot for... Um, because you're only going to get like one plan per thing. Alien Blaster, these are 5% drop rate. Alien Blaster weapon is 5%. Um, the Alien Blaster plan. Where's the Alien Blaster plan? Alien Blaster weapon. Oh, okay. It says it's. Oh, okay. We'll stop dropping after learning. Uh, each plan learn um, will increase odds of. Oh, maybe that's why. Um, maybe that's why I wasn't getting it because I already learned the plan. If you learn the plan, uh, if you want to farm the alien blaster plan, don't learn it because if you learn it, you're not going to get the it to drop. That makes sense. Um. So for sure, I'm not going to. No wonder I wasn't getting any of them. Um. And, but the plan is tradable, though. That's the, the key. Um, so on my alts, I definitely will make sure I'll concentrate on my alts and not uh, learn it. All right, hopefully we're trade bug fixed. Nope, my alt's the one that's bugged. And my alt is stupid overweight. Oop, I got a dude around. Low hole in this weak spot. <laughs> anyway, I can't show what he's got on my laptop. Um, but let's briefly go over it. The trench, all of the straw man outfits, I don't know. Hotter to those. Mr. Fuzzy suits. Um... All right, let me get a Mr. Fuzzy suit. Oh yeah, I got uh, Mango. You gonna come over here and I'll give you a Mumu Mumu outfit. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna drop it. Charlie the Mumu outfit and Charlie the Mumu mask. There you go. I'm gonna give you a fuzzy, Mr. Fuzzy outfit too. Usually just learn everything. Yeah, some some plans uh, 
Don't work like that. All right. Where are you, Mango? Oh, you have a, you have a, uh, yeah, um, JP, I'm going to give you a fuzzy outfit here. Take this outfit. That that's for you, JP. Fuzzy outfit. Okay. All right. Here's a moo moo for you. Mr. Sky. There you go. Moo moo. Alright, JP, you now you got a Mr. Fuzzy out there. You got a moo moo. I still got dudes all mad at me. <laughs> I gotta run away. I took the one on the floor already. Thank you. Alright, groovy groovy. And uh, anyone that is going to be playing with me over the next hour on the thing, make sure that... Where is the thingy? Um, make sure you go into the stream and make sure that you click this thing and make sure that's all, like, up to date. Uh, seems like over time it starts getting less and less and the uh, delay from what's going on in-game to me talking to you on the stream might might be minutes apart by now. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Hey, we got 18 people watching. Thank you, everyone. It's getting all kinds of new people joining in. Nice. Make sure you guys are clicking that like button and subscribing and the YouTube -y stuff and notifications. And all right, YouTuber, YouTuber responsibilities done. <laughs> What's up, Juan? How's it going? We are waiting for. Oh no, we got an hour and a half before the uh, thing actually starts. Uh, we have a what's it on the main menu. Uh, I'm going to leave here. Um, if we can get a full team of people, let's go do some, uh, do some expeditions or something. Something kill an hour. We'll do that. We can do that last meet week. Here, let me get rid of my alt. Get some room on the server. There we go. Let me join my alts on a random server. Alright. Got alts on random places. The title screen looking at square roots go by. Right. Good. Yeah, this is the base of what set I built yesterday. We were just messing around on the member stream. Amazing skills. I don't know what what did we decide? This is the out the the husband when he's kicked out and he's in the doghouse. A place to sleep and eat. Fire up here. He likes to grill, so he's got a little grill area. Hanging out. And his his little best old old man buddy to hang out with him. Anyway, and then what's it built this thing? Uh Kind of stopped before we figured out what to do with it. Little caged in area. So should alien blaster plans during the event today? Yes, they. This is where they come from. And uh, from what that I just read on that thing, when it does drop, don't learn it yet. Wait until the day's done. Uh, unless you want to, if you want to sell them, because they're trade only. I mean, they're they're um. Uh, People will pay an arm and a leg for the uh, for the plans. Um, workshop item. Didn't I have that up? What was I doing? Yeah. Uh, the alien disintegrator plan. That one's not tradable, so definitely learn that as soon as you get it. Same with all the 
disintegrator electro enforcer it's not tradable all of these are not tradable <clears throat> so learn them immediately so they'll stop dropping but the alien blaster plan uh that one you can trade unless they've changed it obviously um but uh that's easily 40,000 caps i've seen i've had people offer like god rolls for the alien blaster plan because that's really rare and it normally it comes around once a year and uh once you get the plan you can craft them which is sweet um but yeah last last uh the actual time that it came through i only got one plan for the whole event with four counts so yeah let's see you got a base you got a vendor Throw some caps at you. There you go. Awesome. I've got uh, Captain Cosmo skin for the Alien Blaster. But no idea how to get it. Yeah, cool. And if you uh, don't want to get a plan, and you, you ever want some Alien Blasters to roll, come let me know. Can throw 100 and blaster that you can so you can roll and try to get some god rolls. Um, there is a place in game where you can go and just get one. Um, if anyone didn't already know that, I can show you guys if you're interested. You can reliably get one. Flux, yeah, thanks. Oh, JP, this is a big no no. For bloodied people. I don't know if you ever... This is like makes it so that we lose our rads when you go in. Can you sneak around? Just barely sneak around. Otherwise, that's like a... Eat bloody people out kind of thing. <laughs> Could definitely show those that don't know. Okay, I will. I will show you guys. Alright. Which mask? Got stiff. Got stuff. You can actually sell these to a vendor for less. I think they sell to a vendor for six caps. All right. Stuff, stuff, stuff. All day long. Some expensive flux. Okay. Um, the place to get an alien blaster is at uh, Gra um, Granager Farm. Unnukes it. <laughs> There's another answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that once I got inside. That's the base you're talking about at What's It? That spot. That that right there is just an empty shell. There's really nothing inside it. But, I mean, that it's just a big box base. Literally took like two minutes to make. Oh, yeah. I was going to show you my Custom World one. Show you my Sutton house. Oh yeah, for anyone that does, um, even though I don't condone re-rolling one single item over and over, but if you did want an alien blaster, where's the blue devil? The the blue devil, I think it's weak spots it's belly, right? Is it his belly? Yeah, he is tanky. Oh, I'm not bloody. There we go, toxic water. Yeah, that thing's got a lot of armor. Anyway, from uh, Granager, Grenader, whatever you call it, uh, Granager Farm, basically start, you just go towards this, uh, the uh, butterfly. There's going to be a little tiny toxic pond over yonder. And this is also a place where you pick up the key, um, one of the keys to get the uh, X01 power, the X01 Nuka paint and the uh, P51. But see, there's this little little chest in here. You click in there. There's a alien blaster. Can't really see it in there, can you? Let me go to first person. Come on. There you go. Kind of hard to, kind of hard to see in there. It's really hard to see in there. Anyway, um, there's an alien blaster right here. You can pick up. It's always there. 
There's also a rusted key that you'll need for a quest chain if you wanted to unlock the uh, Nipicola paint for the T51 and the XL1. But uh, yeah, in there, you can grab an, X an alien blaster if you wanted to roll it. I do not suggest re rolling one item over and over. I suggest going to like a Mr. Morp first. Oh, it's level 22, so definitely don't roll it. Um, so, but anyway. Right here's where to get it, and it is right here on the map. Just like a poly puppy there. Yeah, belly's the weakest. Um, but you can scrap that. Actually, I'm gonna come give that to you. Um, let's see, see if you can get super lucky. Uh, go scrap this alien blaster, and um, see if you can get one of the mods. You can learn. You can learn, don't quote me, but I like two or three of the mods for the gun. Uh, you learn from scrap and the other ones you learn from plans. Uh, I want to say like the scope or something, something, and the grip you can get from scrapping. Um, actually, you know what, screw it. Come inside the mall and I'll, uh, why did they cat blaster at 20? It's not level 20, you do level 50. Um, just some of the items that you loot inside the game, like ones that are world drops, uh, they have random levels. Like some of the rare, that's why the the rare rare colored baseball bats, the max level ones are worth the more, most. Because like level 20 or level 15, level 25 or level 5 uh, bats, you can just, there's spots around the map that you can just go and grab them. And they could be all random levels. I've gotten uh, ones that are, that are 50. Yeah, it's random. Um, so come inside here. And I will just craft you some. Are these guys still mad at me? Here, I'll just I'll just uh, craft you like 20 um, alien blasters. and Just go scrap them and learn all the mods. Um, actually, I'll just do 10. I, I want to say I gave somebody five, and they learned they learned all the mods from scrapping the first two. Um, well, actually, I think I need science perk on for that, don't I? Uh, energy weapon, alien blaster. Right. I'm just gonna craft you some old twenties because you're just gonna be scrapping them. So here, come uh, scrap these. Time you're in the mall, make sure to check this vendor. Sells chance at a rare bat. Oh, actually, I have a rare bat. Oh, I think I put it on my alt. Give away a bat in the stream. Actually, let's do that. Let's um, let go grab that. We got 20 minutes. I don't think I put it in here, did I? It's on my wall. Let's get that all. Let me get that all done. I got an indigo bat I got yesterday. We are going to give away right now. Alright, there you go. I don't know if you're still on the stream, JP. Hey, JP, come scrap, scrap these alien blasters. Oh, go ahead. I don't have chat on here. Team. Rejoin team. There you go. Hey, JP, come scrap these uh, alien blasters I put in this container so you can learn the mods. There we go. Turn the voice off now. Are you ready for the thrill and excitement of life in a 
I gotta scrap them all. Alright. Let's get my alt on. Chain wrapped. It's chain wrapped. There we go. What do you guys say we give that away? It's worth like 200,000 caps. Indigo. Alright. T. Click zero. There we go. We will do that on our Discord. And we are. The oh, last person that did a raffle was not actually on the stream, so we are gonna do we're going ninja ninja method here. I am gonna do a giveaway. Um in the stream only. Stream giveaway. Uh give away. Oh, yeah, I feel bad when just other members of the Discord because people people in the raffle channel will have the notifications on here and I if I do a raffle in the stream, then other people click it. So we're going to do it in here. Yo, there we go. So this way, only you guys will have access to this one. All right. G create. All right, let's do what time is it? We'll do it for in the middle of the next event. So we'll do 45 minutes. Um, Max level. Uh, in the go back. Uh, PC only. Uh, come get your 200k cap value back. Okay. And then here is a link to the raffle. Click. And for anyone that doesn't have, um, I'm pretty sure I put the link to the Discord in the thingy. But there you go. And we will keep an eye on that. If somebody wants to click that so I can make sure it's working. Alright, let me leave it. So it is working. There you go. Alright, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, and I have the sound off, so remind me if I forget in 45 minutes. Okie dokie. Okay. Um, what's up, Bruce? Um, they're not in containers. They because they're not in containers. They spawn when the first person enters the area. Near the level. Yeah, that's how they work. Uh, get a low level person in there. It um, just like with the red dresses and stuff. Once once an item is loaded in, it's loaded in by whoever loads in the area. Um, so like that level twenty person that loaded in that area to make a level twenty. Let's say that they had looted that item, and if they enter the area, they'd make it not loot. So there are chances that you sometimes you'll go into that that spot and there won't be anything there, and um, it's just like a red dress. If on the server if it's looted, it's gone for the day. <coughs> Road trip today, just listening. I drive, had a bathroom stop just now. Nice. We're just heading. Yep. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? We are killing time. All right, we only got one person. Oh, I'm assuming there's probably like a five minute delay probably by now on the stream. <laughs> That's why I put it 45 minutes instead of five minutes. So we'll see that number go up. How many people are even watching right now? I got 15 people watching. All right. Yeah, everyone come on. Come join the raffle. Max level rare bat. Back to the road. We'll see you, Bruce. All right. Um, do we want to go look? I'm gonna look for a dress. I'm gonna do my custom world reset. We got 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to get a dress, but what's it? I want to. I want to show you my Sutton base. I think I'm. You've probably seen it on a stream.
that same base I have. Kind of with the levitated on the stilts base. I've been there for five years. It has not evolved. It's evolved, but concept's exactly the same. I am not going to reset this one. We're just going to let this public. There you go. But reflection of a squish slug. Nothing. Nothing. Crash. Alright, let's wait team. Doo doo. Late world. Custom world 333. That's loaded. I'm gonna delete the All right, that's it. So you can see how I've stuck to my whole idea for five years. The idea for the base was Sutton Station's cool. I wanted a base right up next to the the vendor, and I wanted a staircase going down from the rocks. So I didn't have to run all, all the way around. That concept is exactly the same now. Uh, but on this one, like my little area where my plants are, that's like evolved into what it is now today but otherwise exact same spot exact same base it's just been further and further tweaked so same concept wanted to be up here i couldn't walk across so i had to put this so i can a little walk across but exact same base you can you can kind of see how it's evolved So now, like, this is where my base is now. This is, like, the actual main area of the base. It's still up here. Anyone remember when the game first started? Where, like, you had to have four vendors? This one held 30 items, and it was unique. This one held 30 items. This one held a separate 30 items, separate 30 items, and a separate 30 items. That was annoying, because, like... I could have my weapons in this one, I'd have like bullets in this one, armor in this one, and stuff, and then at some point they, they link them all together, so it's 120. But this used to be so annoying. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what I was selling. Uh, let's see. Oh man, I was ripping people off. 5,000 caps. Thousand caps. I think I just every time I put something on here, I just kind of randomly put the slide bar over. I had no idea what stuff was worth. Everything else I just put for auto price. Uh, unyielding luck. Jeez, not, not too shabby. Soul survivor. I wonder if I had any like legacy stuff in there. I love the ability to have the separated. Yeah. Alright. Grab 
the monster mask. Yeah, it's stuff. Um, see how crappy my gear was. Trash. Yeah, all kinds of trash. Covert Scout. I guess Covert Scout's been around a long time. I don't know why I have to sing that was kind of new. All right. I did have some legacy weapons back then. This two shot explosive. Uh, oops, no. Two shot. Well, you can't see it anymore, but it was a two shot explosive. That thing was a beast back then. Two shot explosive dragon from the old days. Uh, back when this was a hundred percent extra damage and a hundred percent uh. Explosive damage. This thing used to one-shot anything in the game except the queen. This thing got nerfed so hard. Podgepodge armor. Love it. Yeah, this is... This is I was level 300. I don't know how much game time I had back then. Anyway, so... Same base. Oh, yeah, I had a little, like, tips on the wall. The buffs. Just click on them for 30 seconds each. Click, click, click. Here's my crafting thingy. This is, there was some people I was playing with and they kept asking me. I kept giving them like basically all my armor all the time. And, and, uh, I didn't have a mic back then. I, I farmed, I it took, it was a thousand caps to get the letters and the small letter thing. And I remember that took me like a week to get up in a thousand caps to buy that plan. And now I like I throw them on the ground when I get them. But yeah, I, he kept asking me what I wanted, and I so I, um, op boom boom please. <laughs> yeah, I had my little things so I could walk across. Anyway, let me show you what it looks like now. I guess you can see how it's changed over the years. You love the ability to have them separated? Not me. Like, I'd have one gun for one price and one. <clears throat> and then it was just like so much micromanaging you need, had to do. You know, like, and because you only had 30 spots. Like, if I had five bullets, if I had a 145 uh, ammo on this one, plus 100 uh, ammo on this one, plus 100 ammo on this one, plus 100 ammo on this one, all the same kind of, that's four spots. But now all the ammo, it's, you know, it's all. Anyway, still occasionally communicating game like that. Hodgepodge. Yeah, it was. It used to be annoying. There's a lot of a lot of little fixes that from the, the start of the game that I'm super glad are gone. Oh, back then, yeah. You know how you get 1,400 caps from vendors. Uh, back then you got 200 from vendors. Like, like, uh, you know. The Charleston Station, this dude, his uh, he had 200 cap loot pool. So you can sell stuff to get 200 caps from him. And then if you wanted more caps, you had to walk all the way over to this guy to sell stuff to him to get 200 caps from this guy. Then go all the way up here to sell 200 caps from this guy. And, like, you'd screw yourself if, like, if you had a bunch of stuff to sell because it would cost me 25 caps to fast travel over there to sell stuff to get the 200 back. And, you know, I desperately needed my 1,400 caps a day because everything was different back then. You, uh, you know, like I actually had to buy stem packs from the little med med medicine machine. It was, it was old. It sucked. Not the 30th, but I liked having separate inventories. Yeah. Anyway, so here's what the exact same base looks like now after five years. <laughs> And then I'm going to get my dudes on to... I'm going to get ready for the last beat week. Actually, I'm going to join... I'm going to join all my dudes from one... If I join from the main menu, I can there should be a lot of room. Hey, Mex, what you doing?
dude, I used to buy ammo from those machines. Yeah, yeah. There was nothing in the game back then. Like, stuff was hard. You know, like, if you had 2,000 caps back then, you were freaking rich. But yeah, same concept. Nothing's really changed. I mean, a lot, everything's changed, but... This thing took forever to get this butted up exactly flush. Uh, I know other people, I've been able, I can do this now in like 20 minutes, but this took me like five hours to get it like exactly flush. It's actually like a millimeter shy, but close enough. But I still have my stairs going all the way down. So that whole concept's not changed. It's a base with a staircase. But now I have like a little area down here for all my stuff. Now I have my like decoration show off, you know, flex area. Basically. And he's naked because I switched bases. That's annoying. They should that's a bug. He's got an outfit on, but you switch a base from a base, he becomes naked. I guess I'll do the last April meet week, yeah. So, that is the extent of my base building experience, other than my white spring base that I used. That one I got pictures of. See, that's that same base from the old days. That's like five-year-old picture. Where's my other one? For one day, it was two-story, and I, I didn't like it, so I turned it into uh, an open face. Which is right further up. Yeah. Yeah, turn it into like an open face base. But yeah, that's my only been my only other base other than the one at Charleston. Still they look darn good. Nothing like bon Bonnie's base bases are like professional, amazing looking. It's like a kindergartner level compared to some of the skills I've seen. All right, so I'm gonna join from the main menu. So put me on a low population server. If everyone wants to join me, we can go and do a uh, do a meet week. If you didn't eat, uh, you could die. Yeah, I I actually missed that one, um, because I I had just come from playing Fallout Four, the survival mode. Um, I actually liked that. I thought that was it was a cool little addition to the game. Yeah, if you didn't eat or drink, you you're dead. And it's invaders. Oh, it's invaders. Cool. Yeah, sometimes on the reset with those events, they. They switch on the Fashnack day on the hour the server reset it was still Fashnack. Alien Vaders from Beyond. Where are we gonna be at? Down in the ash heap. So I'm actually gonna do um a big a 24 hour raffle for the meat week i'll give away every meat week plan and grand plan and at the end of this event i'll give away every um if i can get an alien blaster plan to drop that is give away one of every um every event plan might even do one big one in market 76 or something and give away just every plan from all five of these days could set that up for like a week or something like a, or a Five day raffle. Get hundreds of people. I could just, or we could just do it on Mr. Morp. How about that? Alright. Anyway, let me get these guys in position. Right, they are adequately hiding. Check. I don't know how to do this thing. I will show you guys right now. It's pretty simple. There's going to be these little um, pods that are going to spawn. They're gonna spawn dudes. We just gotta kill the um, the captains that come out. Don't crash. There you go. 
So you come to here, we gotta destroy this little base. So du dudes will come out, we just kill them until uh, we kill enough of the guys. Turn this game out. Once the guys come out, and then we'll kill the two. One captain will come down first, and then we'll go over to the next one over there. Two captains, and then like the big, big, big boss will come out. All right, and you you do want to stay away from that because it can kill you. So kill thirty of these dudes. I'm gonna go with my quad fixer. Alright. Okay, we kill the big boss. And he pops up somewhere. One. And there is a little trick here if it's not if it's still bugged. There's a little spot over here where they bug out and they all spawn out at the exact same spot right here. Uh let's see if it's still like that though. Alright. Keep it. Oh, no. Yeah, they normally, like, 10 of them will all spawn in this little one little spot. They must have fixed that. Oh, you do want to move. Those little little laser beams will one shot, yeah. if anyone heals me. Hey, yeah. Oh, I watch it. Right. Also, make sure you're in your actual DPU build. Alright. Now we get the big boss to come out. Circuit farming, yeah, plastic farming too. Those toy aliens. Back in the day, this this was like a freaking godsend. Back when you had to bulk every, to put all the junk in your stash box, everything you had to bulk up, so it weighed less. The plastic used to be like gold. This thing you get so much plastic from. Combat inhibitor? Or is his head just not? He just got a lot of health. Anyway. There you go. How do you feel about the droppable jetpack? I think it's freaking amazing. I'm not really a trader anymore, but yeah, those like no more trading scout armor, no more trading all that other stuff. The civil civil engineers like I don't know. Solo might know. What are people paying like freaking five million caps for a G roll chest by now or something? All right. So I got 
a I got an alien blaster poison mag. So that's that's uh, junk basically. Um, during the actual event, you probably get like thirty or fifty of those. Let's see what we got. We got alien stash box. We got we got alien disintegrator. Um, cryo can't drop that, so make sure you learn it immediately. Any of the alien disintegrator plans, make sure you learn. Um, otherwise, if you don't, it'll take up a spot in your um, because you only get one plan. And you don't want, you know, you don't want to keep getting those. All right, that's the event. So it can, there's six zones, so it could either be here, it'll be down at Charleston for the forest, or Garahan for the mining company, the Sundew Grove for cranberry. Um, Meyer is dire chemical, and I do not remember where it is in the Savage Divide. Um, didn't somebody already just tell, tell me and I'm dumb. Beerstein and cryo. Yeah. Make sure. You, yeah. There's uh, some hundred percent ones. The very first time you do the event, um, you'll get the, the Stein plan. Make sure you just learn that immediately. I don't think that one takes up a spot for the other stuff. Yeah. Cause you got a beer stein and a cryo. Yeah. Those are just ones everyone gets doing it. All right, kind of like that. Yeah, it's kind of a fun event. It's uh, very, very hard to solo, just so you know. If you're planning on doing it on your private. You get overrun really fast. Or super easy with the uh, cryo cremator, who knows? <laughs> It's a trap. We're going to go do it's a trap. And for those of you guys that are looking for the ultra rare apparel, do every event in the mire. Um, it's pretty much the, except for that, like one or two dailies, it's the only chance you have of getting the, uh, really expensive ones. Tatterfield jacket, leather coat, traveling leather coat. This one, you gotta be on the ball because it only stays up for like a minute or two. Alien, yeah. What are the plans to learn right away if you farm the alien blaster plan? I will show you. I still got this up. Alright, here are the plans. JP. And if you look down here, um, this little section in here, um, except for the alien blaster weapon, that one you don't want to learn, but all the other ones you want to learn immediately because they're not tradable. Hate this game at times. Can't get the stuff together to stop lagging. Yeah. It is definitely a buggy game. Buggy game. Alright. This is a one in it's either one in a thousand or one in three thousand chance of getting one of these ultra rare perils. I forget if it's zero one or zero point zero three. But uh they're worth millions. Or depending on what it is. Half a million to a million, or Solo might know. Tattered field jacket, like a million and a half, or something. Get anything good. So, every time you see an event here, go do it. It's going to take a long time to get a get one of these to drop. Alright. Uh, Alright, what do we got? Got 
anybody on the server gonna what's it kick out um who am I kick off? Anybody else want to come join for some extra? Oh, you're on another team. How dare you? Oh, we got 17 minutes on the raffle. We only got four people joining. Max level um, rare bat. It's worth like 200,000 caps. Anyone just joined? There's also a link to the Discord. And a what's it? Icarus. If <laughs> yeah, game's being held by uh, interns with scotch tape. No, that makes sense. Ic oh, what's it? I'm gonna send you a message. Uh, how long? Is the delay? Wanna do expedition? Expedition. I did not spell that even remotely close. Let me know the difference between stream and that. See if I need to get everybody to make sure they're fast forwarding up to the current current thing. Red Bulls and Coke. Oh, what's it? All right, there you go. Um, anyone else wants to join? Um, oh, we got Gigares here. Let's get the uh, team. Gigares, come join the team. Is anyone else on? 30 seconds. Let's get Giga Res in here. We could do some expeditions. We got one spot open. If uh, anyone else wants to come join, join Mr. Moore. What are you doing, Dan? There's no Dan in baseball. <laughs> what happened? All right. There we go. Okay. Go we'll do some uh, expeditions while we wait. 10 now after refresh. All right, so 10 seconds. Yeah, it's supposed to be 10 seconds. About 30 seconds for me. All right. I haven't actually watched it. Is it? Are ads popping up? Are like little six second ads every once in a while? You guys being subjected to ads? an expedition there we go not for me gotta start rest it again nothing but meth and bad dreams oh yeah good good call on the rested we'll do that on the next one but I am gonna get uh, I'm gonna get some sugar bombs our brain bombs and some cranberry relish. Um, actually, come here, um, Kikarez. Come take these. Uh, here, here's a leader. Kikar, or Kikarez, or who, who? Yeah, Kikarez. Um, come take eleven love three. Okay, 
eat all that. Alright, let me get myself one now. That'd give you a whole bunch of experience. What's it? I'm assuming you already have your food all situated. Brain bomb. Cranberry relish. Let's get a uh, leader. Let's get 11 of 3. Let's get a B tap. Pick. Let's get our better armor on. We're going to farm some experience. That's what we're going to do. All right, let's get our smoke detectors on. Let's go. All right, get the rest of our food going. There we go. Let's go pew pew some stuff. All right. Do 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 do. We already have our lunchbox done, right? That's the jerk that always cancels it as soon as I try to start. Off in time. Okay. All right. Do do do. Anyone else show up? Bigger is nope. Just that's okay. We do have one spot open if anyone want to come join. Do some farming while we're waiting for the next alien event. Nine minutes on the raffle. Still got four people. That is definitely one uh, plus from doing that. Where's the... Oh, you got it, man. One thing better with the raffles, doing them here than Market 76 is if I were signing up for the raffle, I'd much rather be competing against four people than a 250. <laughs> Come on, Lodi. There you go. Show me your talents. I might just go make some uh, modded GTA accounts. Hello, followers, X missing. Uh, so true, maybe one day you can play on Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be really cool if one day this channel turns into like something, something really cool. I can actually make a living off of it, sure. 
totally buy an Xbox. Clearly have a day to go mess around with mess around with you guys. That'd be, that'd be amazing. Come watch me sucking on console. <laughs> Never, ever would I have thought that the situation of having to be at home to take care of mom all day long would kind of turn into having playing games as my job. If I would have told that to me as a kid, I thought that'd be impossible. But I'm a long way away from that. I think with the way the channel's going now, I'm making like a dollar a day. Make sure you guys are watching the, that little uh, those little ads when they pop up. Give me my one one cent a one cent an hour during the streams. <laughs> I get my pennies, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, I was looking at the little, little youtube -y thing. One of the streams I did, I made 0 0.0001 cent. <laughs> so if I did a thousand of that stream, I would have made one penny. Or whatever. Or a hundred of them. <laughs> Not all glitz and glamour. I think really to to make a living that doing at the being a YouTuber, you have to have a lot, a lot of, a lot of people watching. And eventually, I'm not gonna force, I'm not gonna stress on the issue, and I need to learn how to make videos better and all that stuff. And I put out a video that, like, if I get a thousand views, I get like a buck. So. <laughs> anyway. But we got some really good support. What's it's been amazing. Member, member support's been awesome. It's definitely make or break on the whole thing. Roofie. It's a lot of low time. Those of you guys don't know, keep the team on casual for the entire thing to get more experience. At the very last second, switch it to expedition team to get triple the or double or triple. Sometimes I'll get forty thousand, sometimes I get sixty thousand. Um, but those uh, special teams are only for complete and stuff. So let's see if we get forty or sixty. Get um. 20,000. So sometimes it just says screw you and only gives you the 20. I'll tell every new friend that I make, uh, you to watch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I need to work on 
making content and videos and stuff. I really want to get around to making that bloody video. Uh, that was for the the uh, idea to start doing a stream make with um. Which alt do I have with me? Oh, I got this guy. Laptops with us. Um, I'm gonna delete one of my characters so I can start uh, a fresh stream. I'm gonna start streaming like once a day from my level a level one character and level them all up. Do bloody the whole way. Um. Because most of the, I don't want to make a video on how to like be bloodied, like uh, Jack that was in the stream earlier. I don't know if Jack's still here, Vex, or whatever they changed their name to. I want to like I don't know enough about it at low levels to remember like at what point you can get a certain perk point and certain thing. Um, I like that just a guide for bloodied for start to finish. So I gotta basically go learn myself. I mean, I obviously I can make a an end game bloody video now. But there are like a dime a dozen. I'll still make one though. Here, here soon. But uh, people, the kind of guy that I'd make on how to be end game awesome bloody dude. Everyone that's already level six or hundred plus already kind of knows, you know. But uh, it'd be more fun to have a. A full out how to start from zero. I'm repeating myself. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna click this button. I'm gonna join the expedition. Clicky, clicky. All right. Two sounds like one. Yeah, it'd be fun too to have a stream. Figure Saturday as I'll do the what I'm doing now with the members hang out. You know, the people that have joined as members, we can hang out and do stuff. And then on I don't know like Sunday maybe I'll just do a stream of. I don't know how I'll chop it up. Five hours of leveling up a dude or something, something. Also, what are, what are you guys' opinions on these streams? I, I tend to keep, keep doing like six or seven or eight hour long streams. Is it better to have short streams? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a poll. Do a poll. Um, what uh do you like to watch? Uh, short stream. One to three hours. Uh, on stream. Seven. Plus hours. Am I really heavy already? How did I get so fat so quick? All right, well, we're putting on one piece of armor. There we go. Seem like they're fun to play. Here you play when I'm by myself, yeah. Launching fireworks. You should watch the shorter streams, yeah. It's not like anyone really watches the the streams afterwards anyway I think my biggest watch stream ever would like only have like a couple hundred views no I'm playing it by ear mango uh oh mango mango won the indigo bat congrats extremely fun to watch well good yeah I have uh I have no real direction in what I'm doing other than uh basically still I just I play all day anyway, so I'm just happy to be recording myself. <laughs> but uh yeah, I'll get I know I wanna funnel my 
fallout addiction with the channel into like being more productive. <laughs> <laughs> which is fun like that first couple hours of the stream that that was the kind of that's my jam that was that was fun i love like the kind of the q a or the mark how do i do this kind of thing you know i could do that all day long i love that if if uh people come ask questions and if, if i if i can help that, uh that makes uh that makes a happy morky that is literally the focus of my channel is like a how to help slash come watch me waste all my modules doing rolls channel <laughs> But, uh, whatever the reverse of showing off is, I don't want to show off with anything I'm doing. I want to show you guys how to do this. You know what I mean? I am not anything I would even remotely call a skilled gamer at all. Uh, I just kind of have been around long enough to know, like, do this and you'll be awesome kind of thingy. Or click this button. I also want to learn myself, too. I don't know how to play heavy guns or any other stuff. That kind of stuff will be fun. The idea of doing it stresses me out, though. So that's why I, I tend to not really put much focus on it. Just like with the two years I was playing, I was. it took so long for me to finally give up my tendency to be scared of change, to actually finally try bloodied. I was always like, no, I don't want to change anything. I'm making it up as I go. And then when I finally did it, I was like, oh my god, why in the world did I play so terribly for two years when I could have been doing this the whole time? But anyway. So yeah, if I can make a little, little video kind of showing you how, how to do it quickly and easily and explain it in a way that people can understand, that, that'd be cool. So I tried when I was learning and I was still trying to learn the game too. I, I, I looked up some videos on YouTube, just like everyone else. And it seemed like at the end of the watching some of those videos, I had more questions than I had before starting the video, which would make me just turn it off. And then I wouldn't go back to YouTube for months. Like, yeah, I'll just figure it out myself. He said too many words I didn't understand. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to get my rested bonus. Um, Mango, are you on the server? You are. I'm gonna go hook you up. Um, if you want to meet me at my base real quick, Mango, that'd be cool. Seems like you don't make videos. You just you just talk. Um, you don't make videos just to talk. You actually help. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of streaming. And I would never, I wouldn't watch, or watch some streamer and just like let me go watch somebody else play a game for eight hours. It seems boring. <laughs> you ready to get in? Get well, that's the whole point of having streaming. I, I want to like hang out with you guys. You guys are hanging out with me. You might as well participate in the hang. <laughs> Instigating the tenderizer. I need. Oh, I'm missing one of the G roll tenderizers. Imparting that warp knowledge. And Assassin Union. Ah, oh, I forgot to switch it to expeditions. Oh, 
All right, Mango, I don't know if you heard. I'm going to go to my base somewhere. I want to get my rested anyway. But first, I'll want to meet up with you give you your bat. If we get two birds, it that'd be sweet. Otherwise, I will start up the next expedition here in just a moment. And my game bro. Wah, wah, wah. It's been bugging out. Anyway, let's see if I can fast travel to you. Over encumbered, of course I am. Let's put on our weapon weighty stuffy. Let's see if my game is still black. All right. Okay, I need to restart the game. Click, click. I will be right back. Oh, how's that poll looking? We got eight views pretty much straight down the board. To be honest, I learned uh, about 76 more from your videos than other YouTubers more because you don't have to click, click you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Mitt Young, a friend of mine in here, he's the one that actually been like was trying to talk me into doing this whole channel for a long time. And I kept, uh, he was like, you gotta do clickbaity kind of thing, you gotta coax people in. We got in our version of arguments. Not really arguments, but it's like, I'm not, I don't want to do clickbait. I'm not going to, I don't want to lie to people. Um, but yeah, I know what eventually I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep reminding myself every once in a while during the streams to tell people to click like and do all that stuff. But, uh. You know, but that, that's not really clickbaity. That's, just, I guess, being a responsible dude. Good night. What's it? What's it going to bed? Try to sleep. Oh yeah, you got you got some. You work in different ships hours. Mango, you want to come join some expeditions? And steps and steps. Come on, buggy game. Mr. Sky lurking. All right. Don't touch the screen for like 10 seconds and you won't crash. I'm gonna treat the game like a like it's a delicate little flower. Alright. You're gonna load in now. Alright. Don't crash. Don't crash, little baby. There you go. All right. I can't at the moment. I need to move. No worries at all. Here's Glue. What's up, Glue? I saw you on the live down earlier. We were figuring out which uh, server to jump to. doesn't crash then it's uh, not a fantastic game exactly all right all right well we just got giga Do, 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 do. Where are you, Markson? There you are. This is, look at this bug. It like doesn't want me to go to me. It won't even let me click on it. I can click on everyone around except for Mango. Dude, there, come on. 
There we go. All right. All right, Mango, I will come over to wherever you are. You're right in front of me the whole time. All right, here you go. Weapon. There you go. All right. Let's, uh... Oh, we do have a Giga still left. Uh, Giga, you left the group? Did you want to keep going? Otherwise, I think I'm going to do dailies. We got 17 minutes till the next event. What are the dailies, actually? Let's see what we got for today. We got a squirrel we got to go attend to. Because we want to force camel jump suit. Not leaving yet. Walla, what's it? From my doctor visit yesterday. Gotta. If you're having trouble sleeping and keeping a sleep pattern, turn the TV off and don't watch stuff as you're trying to sleep because it's a. Keeps your brain going. Put the morph down. <laughs> I was telling my doctor that I have absolutely zero, nothing resembling a sleep schedule. Get a force camel jumpsuit. He apparently did not. Okay. Giga's, Giga's back. 69. Giga. Giggity. <laughs> Alright. What do we got? What are our dailies today? Hunt rabbits. I definitely don't want to do that. So we are going to re-roll that. Let's turn this into an epic. Oh, we got an epic. All right. Destroy a robot with a pistol. That sucks. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have a pistol. Um, mine told me that too and seemed uh, offended when I laughed at her. Yeah. Back at my last last job, I used to work, you know, five five to seven twelve hour shifts a week for years, and uh, I had a whole system. You know, I had my little bedroom with with uh, sheets and everything over the windows, so it was always dark. I do not have a clock in my bedroom. I do not have my phone in my bedroom. I don't have anything in my bedroom. So when I physically walk in and get into my bed, I sleep. That's the only thing I do in that room. And uh, it actually mentally helps. So when I know I'm time to go to bed and I go in there, you know, and I'm not messing around when I'm in there. No phone, no clock, so I don't need to worry about it. And over doing that for years, when, once I get into the rhythm of it, like I never needed an alarm clock. Um, um, your your body and your brain are thought better at that kind of thing than uh than you think they are if you give give it credit uh your your body will just naturally wake itself up when it needs to but having that crutch of a clock or a, a, especially having a clock in your body if i'm having trouble sleeping if i'm stressed out my my brain i tend to like just wake up like every couple hours because my my mind wants to know what time it is to see how much time i have left to sleep which is actually bad because it's waking me up Without having it around, I just rocked and rolled. All right, we're going back to on looking out for that. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm here to look for a pistol. That's what I'm here to do. Um. Oh yeah, I had a laser pistol. That's how I did it yesterday. I think we're gonna shoot. Do I have anything cool? Do you have any pistol? Crusader pistol. There we go. We're going to shoot with a pistol unless I got something better. Uh, what do you guys want to see? A Crusader pistol or an Enclave pistol? Or a Bloody Crusader pistol? Oh, that's even that's even better. 
I think we're just gonna go with that. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually shot that gun. Um, where are you, buddy? Crusader pistol. <clears throat> I sleep with my blinds open so the light helps me wake up. Yeah. Well, glue my my job. I twelve hour shifts. So, I you know, it was the middle of the night, so I had to like close the. Uh, I had to have uh, all the light off in my room because I slept during the middle of the day. But that is a good point. Um, Bloody Crusader pistol, where are you? I have never shot this ever. Ever. Um, what do we want? What do we want in this thing? Anyone use a Crusader pistol? 5.56. Five, five, 16 damage, pyro, fire, and even explosive? No. Fire, pyro seems kind of cool. We're going to go with pyro. That has more numbers. Alright, long barrel. Magazine. Large, sure. Oops. Bloodied Crusader Pyro Pistol. Standard long. Reflex. Um. Oh, actually, do I still have a pistol? Pistol build? Oh, I have a pistol build. That's all messed up. From. Um. Where are the pistol builds? Pistol. Concentrated fire we want. We don't want this lock picking on. I've turned this into a whole different build. Crank shot. Pistols have more range and accuracy aiming. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna do bad. I'm using the one that shoots electric sparks. It's uh All right. Uh, what kind of ammo is this? We got ten millimeter. Let's get some ten millimeter. All right. Let's do a thousand. That should be enough. Do 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 do. All right. Just enough for this daily. Ten minutes. It's 10 minutes. Let's get this one over with. Oops. Challenges. Um, destroy a robot. All right. We're going to go to over here. We're going to two birds, one stone this. Do this event while we're here. A lot of robots. Oh, somebody's oh I don't know what I was thinking I didn't re-roll that one that's a one of the dailies it's only gonna be like impossible to do delay okay all right. on their mom's probably doing this one. Oh, it's not automatic uh oh people doing the event. Somebody's using an alien blaster. I know that sound anywhere. Oh, it's actual. Oh, yeah, yeah. During the alien event, aliens, uh, aliens come and attack stuff. I forgot about that. Alright. Anyway. Oh, 
think there's only a couple of robots in here. All right. Cool customer. I sleep with my... Um, still using the one that shoots electric sparks. Pretty cool one. Oh, the scoreboard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I never used that one. Um, what was it called? Ruster. One shot. There are more robots in here. Owls. It's pretty neat. Randomly saw him. A duck. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. There we go. Alright. Pistols. Done. Alright. That was quick. We got seven minutes. Uh, That's actually kind of a, kind of a nice gun. Can you not make it uh, automatic? Still pretty beefy. I just scrapped my Union helmet. Oh no. We can craft it. Do you have the plan to craft it? <laughs> Alright. What do we got next? I eat a meat based meal. Alright. Um, cook a meal. Jeez, today's were easy. Do we have any Nuka Colas on us? Does it have to be Nuka Cola exactly, or could it be one of the other ones? Um, meat meat based meal. Let's go get some toxic Larry, I guess. Bethesda just took them away. Oh no. Yeah, the union stuffs uh, got bugged. Oh, again. Yeah. Yeah, just like you guys are saying, uh, interns with scotch tape. That's how this... Uh... <laughs> as much as I complain about the game, I still love it. I'm still having a blast playing it, so... Take the complaints with a grain of salt. <laughs> Alright. Um, we got our food thingy on this. Butcher's bounty. Alright. Not very strong. I bet it's not a dot, too. Is it a dot? No, definitely not a dot. Yeah, I think Angry Turtle was saying that the, the cremator is the first time it it's actually a dot on a weapon. It's kind of cool. All right. Interns in Scott's tape. It's true though. Game engine itself is just one big poop. Yeah. Well, I'm having fun with this big poop. I got four minutes. I'm always surprised at how big these guns actually are. When I think of a 10 millimeter, I think something that like just bigger than your hand. That thing's like huge. I've seen some 10 millimeter pistols, the regular ones that are like, it's like the size of a skateboard coming out of your hand. Like, dude, how is that a pistol? All right. All right. Let's let's eat our fifteen plant-based meals. Can we make some water. Wow. 
water. Alright, all food, meat based meals. Oh, well, I guess I didn't get enough. Uh... Oh, cook. What did I have to do? Cook meals? Mango blob. Let's go join Mango. Um, follow Giga. Oh, oh, you got your alts with you. Yeah, good. Come join our group. Giga, join what's it? If you want, obviously. Here for the event. Um, food. Oh yeah, what was I doing? I need to eat. Was it cook, food, or eat? Eat. All right. What do we got? D D D D D. One, two. Glowing meat. More rat chunks. Mutt chops. Salisbury steak, raw steak. One, two, three, four. There we go. Perfect. All right. Um, I think we're done. Oh, no, we got one more. Drink a Nuka Cola. All right. I forget if there's Nuka Cola sitting around here. I think it's all beat booze. You got any Nuka Colas randomly? All right, we're gonna worry about that later. Let's go do the alien event. Pew pew, gonna pew pew on you. Pew. All right. Here we go. Oh, the one with the mire. My dire chemical or whatever this is. That's one of the, one thing I do like about this uh, alien event is it's it's different every hour. I mean, they, obviously they can repeat, but it's not always going to be the same. Oh, speaking of Homer, Homer Saperstein, um, during the event, there's a, a random person killing me before I can even log in. Uh, there is a random encounter that you can do in the game, and you can uh, get access to... Um, you can get access to uh, a certain bunker, which I can show you after. Uh, I'm going to stop talking, I'll show you guys after. I should, I'll add a spoiler warning before we go over there. I should say this is your spoiler warning. Let us move on to the next segment. We will need to draw out 
Yeah, this is a fun event. Tomorrow's gonna be the big day, though. Or for me, at least. I wanna get like, I wanna get like at least a hundred modules, hundred modules tomorrow. Like five thousand script, if not more. Let's let's aim for two hundred and fifty modules for tomorrow. How's that sound? Two hundred fifty. Five hundred spike. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'd be able to last twenty four hours of it though. Oh, and uh, Mingo, I do should warn you when um there's always been a bug on the private server. When once seems like once it take over every all twenty one of the 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 things, it'll start. It starts kicking. Start. It'll start kicking me off the uh, private. Like it'll crash. But then just jo rejoin you rejoin the um the server your private and you just have to go and revisit revisit the bases over and over um i had it last like six or seven hours before and then other times i've had it last like 20 minutes like it'll crash me as i'm trying to reload everything go for it 250 modules yeah I should say, uh, I remember I got, one of the, I think I got like, I'm, I'm, I might be thinking of the Treasure Hunter event where I got like 750 modules. Probably thinking of the Treasure Hunter event. Um, I forget, uh, I have the stream still up. I was, I was streaming back then, the last, that last holiday event. Um, I have opened up like a thousand presents or something crazy. All, all just from doing what I'm gonna, the video I'm gonna put out today or tomorrow. Anyway, come on, dudes. You were tanky. You can treat this like Fashnack and you can serve her up. Um, I'm not going to do it though. You can like serve her up and try to sneak into one. Because these these go by how fast people are doing it. So, if you are doing an alien event and like you get the whole event done in like three minutes, and you want to keep farming, go for it and bounce around so you can sneak into another one. But obviously, you cannot AFK like Fashnet because it's going to be there's like one of six locations it could be at. Yeah, it's a really fun event. All right, what did I get? I got a. Uh, a junk thingy. What plan did I get? Oh, I got a whatever I got. I got a duplicate of. I got an alien blaster poison mag. I got a human tube two. I got a. I got a. Where are you? An alien blaster cryo mag. I died on the other one. Alien shot me in the face, it appears. What I got? What did I get on my last guy? Human tube 2. Alright. Anyway, okay. That was fun. Mango blabby. Mango blabby.
Alright. Alright, so I got an hour and 53 minutes to kill. Mango, you said you're not sticking around, right? I got an asteroid and a freezing enforcer thingy. Yeah, the freezing enforcer thingy, uh, click it. Like, it's not tradable. Anything you can't drop it, drop on the ground, make sure you learn that immediately so it doesn't take up the space for anything else. Um... Anyway, okay. Um, okay. Let's see, well, how's that pole looking? Um, seems pretty kind of cut down the middle. These people a little bit more like longer streams. Huh. Right, staying on you will be back. Oh, that reminds me, Mango. I saw a song I wanted you to see. <laughs> I still think that's funny. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. Well, let's go. Um. Let's address squirrels first. Let's go do this daily quick. For a chance at her thingy. Who's shooting at stuff? No shooting at stuff in baseball. There we go. Got to go away from the gunfire. Okay. All right, actually, I should do some technique. Make sure every time you come to Beckley, Berkeley, check to see if you get an enclave mod. Some dude's not talking to the dude. Enclave? No enclave. I'm selling G rolls over here. Nope. Oh, let's get rid of some stuff. Yeah, that's why we're heavy. What else do you got at Teddy? Potato salad we do not care about. So we're gonna get rid of you and do Supers weigh a lot. All of this stuff we can get rid of you. Yeah. All right. Good enough. All right, let's go do this one daily, and I guess we go back to expeditions or staying on. Actually, how long has the stream been going? Speaking of, uh, four and a half hours. You're going to die from rads. Oh, because you're in water. Oh, how about don't hang up water? Alright. Let's get rid of these other ones we don't care about. Kappa squada. There we go. Retrieve toys. Well, I remember retrieving toys. Do 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 do. Don't quote me, so I don't remember. But somebody was saying they had looked up um, playtime and having like um. In the realm of highest chance of getting a tattered field jacket or one of those rare apparels. Do, 
do 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 I don't know why I'm crouching because I don't really care. You are outside. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a when to go for the daily when it pops up, this is normally where I go. At the um Tomps or Haven Church. Um somebody DC. Oh, anyway. Yada 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 sauce. Put that out here. So I started these only roll daily as I do. Any anything that has a chance of getting like the ultra rare apparel. Um bah, 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 bah. Wow, 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 wow. The VI purple put it. I don't know who that is. Oh, you're on the team. What's going on? Oh, well, here we go. Well, we got we got a full list of uh friends listy people. That's the outfit we're trying to get. Give me your outfit. No, you're not gonna. No. I want to mangle juice. I always remembered that, uh, kill so many sheep. <laughs> mangle juice. Your mangle juice. Your mango shield. Strong. Nothing can break through that armor, that mango armor. Alright. Let's go ahead and just, since we got a full team, let's go do some expeditions, more expeditions. Come on, come on. Alright. You give it to me, you give it to me. You did not. Alright. Was that the tattered field jacket, that uh, Raider hat? That was the traveling leather coat that he had. The leather coat and the traveling leather coat look exactly the same, but the traveling leather one's got a backpack. I'm wearing the leather coat right now, which obviously I prefer because I wear my own backpack. The tighter field jacket looks like white with um little patchwork all over it. Yeah, I'm not gonna put on my good gear. I don't really care. Uh I will eat some buffs because I want my blight suit to be up. Alright. I like the tattered field jacket. I think it looks cool. I've heard other people say they don't like the way it looks. So, I guess to each his own. Alright, where's the dude? That dude. That's you too. I always interrupt me. I'm trying to start this. Oh yeah, make sure to do beat cats. He jerks out. You gotta wait until I'm almost done too. Don't do it, you jerk. Alright. Super rare. Yeah. Actually, the way that the math works out, unless I'm dumb, um, it is the rarest 
Uh, there's like a, a group of three, the Tatterfield Jacket. Um, uh, it's actually the rarest outfit in the game. The Asylum Red Dress shows as a 0.01%, but uh, there's a 20% chance it, that you can get uh, an Asylum Dress to spawn, but you can turn that into 100% drop. 100% if you just go in, go in and out basically five or six or seven times. So actually the red dress is a 0.5%. There are three other apparels that have a 0.3%. So actually the rarest. I hope I have an accident nut. I love my yeah, there's some cool stuff. Don't scrap the tattered field jacket mango. Yeah, as I've seen screenshots of people like finding asylum red dresses on vendors for like, you know, eighteen caps or whatever the default thing is. People you know, some people that don't know what it was, they just sold a forced camel jumpsuit to the vendor because they thought it was worthless. You can force uh, asylum dresses to spawn. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's definitely harder harder to get the Meyer the Meyer stuff and the responder ones. No, so, after all this time, the red dress is actually not that hard to get. It is hard to get, but not hard. Eighteen caps. I might. I don't know what it was like. hundred caps or whatever the default is. I we could test it by selling a red dress to a vendor and find out, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> well, you could just look at a red you could look at your red dress and, and look at the thing where it says value at the bottom. That that's what the it'd be for the vendor. It was me when I first started playing. Yeah. <laughs> the other woman, not the ghoul, seems to be seems seems to get stuck the most. Oh, are you gonna bug out too? Right. It's bugging out. So we're gonna go back to the other room and then back in here. See if we can hug unbug it. <laughs> the default value is such a lie. I should add a star or something, yeah. Where am I following you? You know a trick? Mr. Mark's not the leader. Watch my back. 
we're going to start it over. It's buggy. It's buggy. Do 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 do. Hopefully that picks it. Do 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 do. Alright. Anyone else on here? Just us. Right, I'm gonna bring my alt in. Then. I mean, it's long. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah. Oops, I think I joined the wrong place. Join expedition team. There we go. Why are you bugging out weird? <laughs> There you go. One of you has been selected to defend the infamous Bobbinia. This Bobbinia has their own faculty. Buggy, buggy, game! Yeah, it's one disadvantage of the quad fixer. Takes three bullets to kill stuff. Am I in the right build? I'm not in the right build. Yeah. One. One, two. One, two. Two bullets. Two bullets. Two bullets. Two bullets. Two bullets. Two bullets. Right, I guess one's the drone. Fix in. 
It's still two, bu two bullet kills. But only once adrenaline pops in. It's There you go. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, dude. Stick with our bloodied. The guaranteed one now split. Kill. Thank you. You really got, really got me alive. alive. All right. So run, 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 a good boy and remember to switch it to expedition sometimes you get seems like every once in a while I've been getting only 20,000 no bonus normally get like 40 sometimes 60,000 <laughs> which is a nice little chunk Variant, switch it to expeditions. So you only get the bonus experience for once you complete it, so only turn it on at the end. Instead of getting twenty thousand experience, ready, ready we're to get gonna get gonna get sixty thousand. So we got triple that time. So for the expedition team we got that plus triple of that. But we're gonna go back to casual because we want we want that extra experience constantly the casual all right oops wrong line there we go they should add a star or something for the rare drift yeah, yeah. A while ago, that was the screenshot I made for a, a video that barely anybody watched. Me solo an eviction notice with full health. Anyway, um, I need to pee. We're gonna get rid of some stuff first. Alright. Get that gun. Let's put that back away. Do 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 do. Let it go. Put you back away. Alright. Yippee screenshot. 
Green John. Oh yeah, the tattered field jacket. This one's the tattered field jacket. Let me get. Come on, first person. Come on, first person. There you go. That's the tattered field jacket with the wrapped cap. Um, you can kind of tell they were designed meant to be together. They're two two separate items though. The helmet and then the actual jacket. But that's the leather coat. Uh, and this is the traveling leather coat. They're exactly the same. That's a green hood. It's a separate item. That one, the leather coat. No backpack. That one's got a backpack. But, uh, yeah, I like how the little tape stuff on it. That's why for this occasion, I uh, got my brown leather backpack with the tape. It just looks like it. It looks like it fits with it. Be nice if the brown was a little darker, but I like the little scotch tape or duct tape or whatever look to it. <laughs> um, these are a little hard to find. They're not really worth anything. The, the wrapped cap. If you guys do get a tattered field jacket, let me know. I think I got like eight of the wrapped caps on in here. There is a dude you can a vendor uh, you can kind of server hop and get them a little easily. Yeah, all the wrap caps. Um, but yeah, it's pretty clearly that it's supposed to go with that outfit. Uh, same with the green hood. A little bit hard to find, but I mean, not worth anything. But if you get, if you get one of those outfits, let me know. I love the scorch beast mask. Creepy at night, yeah. I just love the ears. <laughs> the ears are so funny. We'll see you, Giga. Gotta go in a bit. Thanks more for the run, of course. How much time we got? 25 minutes? Kind of nice as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Responder fireman. He's the one doing the fire cooking. But yeah. Oh, yeah, I have my details set really low. You can't read it anymore. Um. Yeah, I keep my settings kind of low to speed up the... Uh, speed up the load times a little bit I mistook the Charlie backpack for the uh, Brahmin one didn't realize it dropped uh, from saving sound oh nice um do you want a Charlie backpack plan I'll give you a Charlie backpack plan uh, let me load on to you this dude leave world click are you oh you're not on anymore are you uh, who's got, who did I move all that stuff to? Uh, plan sets. Oh yeah, you're on that dude. Uh, just remind me. Um, you are on that guy. But not the brown one. You oh you have the Charlie backpack. Oh. Well. You want a Brahma backpack? I think I got Brahma backpacks. Which one is the Brahmin one again? One that looks like a um, a pig, I think. Gotta do more safe and sound events. I forget which dude's got my, uh, which guys, yeah, which guy did I move all the plans to? Plan storage, plan, I moved all this guy to, um, where did I move all this stuff to? I just moved all my alts around. Plan sets, and armor niche. Did he go to armor trade? Oh, I went to the... Oh, I went to the wrong dude. How dare you! I 
do they still have all the planes in them? Hold on, I'm finagling around some stuff here. Those few days I was really sick is when I did my my uh my alt transfers and I didn't really I didn't have my heart in it, so I didn't finish organizing really well. My plan storage. It's probably it's probably still sitting in this alt. You still got all the plans on you? Oh yeah, you still got all the stuff. Brahmin backpack, right? Brahmin couch. Oh, no Brahmin backpack. Unless I already learned it. Um, are you in... Are you... Brahmin backpack might be in this dash. Um, uh, brown my backpack. I got one. There you go. You have a brown my backpack now. What else do I got? Blue devil, blue devil, blue devil. I'm a skin rug. This is kind of like camp, camp looking items kind of thing. Anyway. Alright, so we have a brown my backpack for you. I like the space explorer. Heck. I don't know what that looks like. Alright. Weapon sales. Weapon for sales. Right, I saw my trade for sale. Hooray. Oh yeah, you only have sets of event stuff. Um, oh yeah, so, uh, oh, it did bug out, he's right, yeah, this is learnable again, Soul Reaver, um, Bruce, road trip done, thanks for educating me along the way, Mr. Martin Company, time to unsettle, yeah, have a good weekend, bud, um, yeah, the Alien Blaster, yeah, I got 67 of them, 52 Alien thing, uh, Alien tube, a hundred of them, but no uh, alien blaster plans. Um, Brahmin grill, Brahmin plushie, yeah. So none of the Brahmin stuff. Um, but I do have a Brahmin backpack for you. Are you still on? Mango blob, there you are. Brownie, brownie backpack. Brownie, 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 brownie. Brownie backpack. Alright. This is just random stuff. Gotta go. We'll see you, Icarus. Yeah, I should probably take a break. Anyway. Even though most most people, 64% like the seven hour streams. <laughs> Mango, mango sausage, mango and the salads. Alright. What does this guy got? Yeah, I, I need to. Oh, yeah, Charlie backpack. Anyone need a Moo Moo backpack? I got 34 of them. <laughs> um, what other backpacks I got? I think at the end of this little thingy, I'll give away, like, like, uh, what do you call them, uh, one of everything from all these events. Pingo plushie, princess backpack, I only got eight of those left. Was the red dinosaurs what you were hunting for, right? Um, red dinosaur. 
Well, I guess I don't have any of those left. Unless they were zero weight, they'd be in my, uh... They'd be... Everything that's zero weight, normally I keep on my, on my maid. Let's take that stuck on here. Yeah, the uh, illustrious red dinosaur that was overlooked. Yeah, yeah, it's a big, big, it's a big bastard. Uh, do I have any red dinosaurs? Um, no. Yeah, I guess they are. They are pretty, pretty rare. I don't have any either. Dude, I only have two vintage water coolers left. Jeez. Alright, um. Yeah, that's weird. I just want to head red down. Let me double check this guy. Notes, fashion egg, vintage water. Oh, I got 36 vintage water coolers for this dude. Never mind. Uh, red truck. Red truck, red raw. Or is it called giant red dinosaur? Does it start with a G? Giant red di it's a called G. It's giant red dinosaur. Yeah, I got I got some left. It's not it's not R. Uh I don't have any on this guy. So yeah, I got four giant red dinosaurs left. So I guess that one, yeah, that one's kind of rare. Alright, anywho, um, yeah, I should probably get to, I should probably eat something and take a nap. Something, something. Oh, ha <laughs> ha Good thing I checked. Look at that, we got a pink bat. Right on. Alright. The illustrious pink bat. Max level. This is why you check these vendors, guys. It's worth 200,000 caps. Um. Alright, well, let's get this way. Who wants, uh, who wants a pink bat? Let's do a little raffle quick. Alright, where are you guys at? Holy heck, nice, yeah. That's a, that's a tasty one. Alright, G create. Um, we're gonna do a quick one. Because I do want to take a nap. Um, let's do 10, 10 is it? Oh, we, we got an event coming up. We'll do 30 minutes. Um, we'll give this, actually we'll do 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll do 20 minutes. We'll do the alien, alien event and then we'll give this away. Uh, max level pink bat. Uh, PC only. Very cool. Yeah. Sometimes it seems like I get like one of those a month from checking the vendors every day. Sometimes a lot less. All right. Copy link. Here we go. There's a link to the thing. Do we have anyone in the stream that isn't already on here? Here's a link so you guys can join the raffle. And. Video unavailable. Alright. Okay, anyway, um, we got that going. Let's get this over here, get this over here, get that over there so we can see it over yonder. We got one person signed up. Somebody's gonna get lucky. Everyone else, come join up if you're on PC. Okay. Um, I've sold, I don't know, 20 or 20 plus of those for 200,000 caps, so they are tasty. You could trade them for like a bloody 25, 25 fixer of that kind of value, if anyone's interested. Alright, and otherwise, let's get, uh... 
Let's close that guy off. Let's get back on the real dude. So I'll do this alien event and then take that out. All right, let's get back to you on the real thingy, the thingy McBob. All right, let's see what this person is in the cell. At trucks. Dude, this used to be worth so freaking much before that dupe came around. A G roll thing, and now it's like that's overpriced. It's so sad. That used to, that you used to be able to like trade a G roll for the one piece. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, we got anything else cool here? Wow! Wow! Wow, wow, super mutant tube. No, no. Nothing rare, nothing rare. Overpriced flux. No, thank you. Okay, um. Mango. Only got one item. Ooh, that piece looks amazing. Yeah. It's a G roll. T45. But that dupe that was going around killed all value for all power armor. I don't know. Somebody was saying that dupe's broken or doesn't work anymore. I don't know. How much time we got? 10 minutes. Uh, let's go look for a dress while we're waiting. Alrighty. How many people are still watching? What do we got? Nine people. And we got some people stuck around. And yeah, thanks for hanging on, everyone. Alright. We got some competition going on in the raffle. Two two people signed up. Fifty percent chance of winning two hundred thousand cats. How's that sound? Sounds like a good deal. I don't know why I'm shooting those. Ugh. I don't know what should I treat myself and eat some junk food? Or should we be nice responsible Morpy and eat some some not stuff? No! <laughs> oh, I should, probably should have... I forgot I'm on a public server. We should go look to see if the dresses are even there. Alright. Oh, look at that! We got a pink! <laughs> All right, we got a pink dress. Woot, woot. Enclave? No. We got a pink. We got a dirty. We got a pink dress. Pink dress and we got a pink bat. You know what? Whoever wins the pink bat is going to get a pink, pink asylum too. Pink asylum as well. Alright. 
So whoever signs up for that raffle and wins, you're gonna get a pink, pink, uh, a pink dress too. Pink. And we got seven minutes. I'm gonna go reset my loot table. For any of you guys that don't know how to do that, let's go do that. All right. Anytime you do pick up a dress, um. Oh, is this still, do I still have it linked? I doubt it. Oh, no, I don't. Um, anyone that um, doesn't know how, how loot tables work, let me just link. I'm not going to describe it all. Here is a link. EG1 is easier to digest than your multivitamin. Up for your health routine today. I got a whole guide on it. But... All right. Description. But yeah, I have a whole, whole dress farming guy down there. If somebody watched the video like yesterday and they were commenting and complaining that they couldn't get any dresses to spawn. And I was telling them, did you watch like six more minutes of the video? Because I could explain exactly the question you're asking. You gotta clear your loot table. Pink, pink. Like, yeah, I went and I looted all the dresses in my private server and I've done the reset over and over and over and over and over and I keep doing it, been doing it for an hour. I can't, there's never any dresses here. I think they watched like two minutes of the video and then that's all they watched. Anyway, anytime you pick up a dress, you will not be able to see that dress spawn for 24 hours or until you loot 255 more items a thing in the game called a loot table basically too long didn't read version the game only keeps track of 255 things that you interact with like this bottle right here if i pick it up uh for one full day it my 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 computer is telling the game hey i already picked up that bottle so don't show it to me again but instead of keeping track of 20, 50,000, you know, tens and tens of hundreds of thousands of things in the game, it'll only keep track of 255 things. So if I wanted to pick up the bottle again, I just go loot 256 items. Then when I server hop, I'll be able to see that thing there again. Uh, and that is just so that the servers and everything in your game don't catch on fire. If it actually kept track of every single thing, <clears throat> you would, it would take like an hour and a half to load in the game. But, uh, they're so, they're all just, uh, you know, it's kind of a thing to save memory. Save load times, save everything. So it's a little simple trick you could do. You could just reach, like if you wanted to farm ore all day long, you go farm your all the ore spots around wherever you go and farm. And then if you guys are familiar with it, when you farm the thing, you you can server hop all you want. And that spot that you farmed earlier in the day won't keep showing up. You just gotta go come here, clear out your loot table, and you can see it all again. And this spot in Somersville. It's got like, I don't know, 400 veins in here. 280 of them are these books. One spot to rule them all. You could tell they intentionally made this. I could developers like, yeah, well, just for testing, let's put something in the game where we can, we can clear our loot table. Because there's nowhere else that I know of in the game that's just got just a stupid amount of stuff. So, and if you want cloth, you're going to get a bonkers amount of cloth from coming in here. Yeah, just look at all these books everywhere. This has to be on purpose. I've yet to have anyone tell me somewhere else in the game that's like this, or if I yet to find one. Now, 
I can go switch servers and keep on dress farming. That's why I only pick up um, yellow, pink, um, forest or red dress. Because the brown dress and the green dress and the blue dress, they do have a little bit of value. But um, I'm not going to go and spend the five minutes or whatever that took to go and put something on my vendor to sell for 500 caps. Uh, not saying 500 caps isn't much, it's just... I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to bother. Um, what am I doing? Rail spikes. I want a few more. Let's do six. Seven. All right. How much cloth did I get out of that? I got raw cloth. I like 300 cloth. So there's 289 books or 280. Some other stuff probably had some cloth too. Anyway. Okay. Uh, so we only got three people. All right, we got a thirty-three point three percent chance of winning uh, like two hundred and twenty-five thousand caps worth of stuff. Woot woot. Okay. Um. How much time we got? One minute. We got ain't no got no time for nothing else. All right. What do you guys think? I'm gonna guess. Charleston. That's my guess. Wondered why dresses never spawn again. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go pee real quick. Well, I could tear. I could tell where it is from the bathroom because my alt's still sitting there. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? Yeah, my little baby alt's other account's still sitting out there. Okay. All right, Lodi McTake Loderson. There you go. Oh, that's where my alt died. I was going to say I can get my loot. I don't know where about it. Mango Blob. Focus your fire on the commander.
do like the spawn up here. Oh, don't shoot explosives when you're standing right next to them. Ah, oh, somebody snagged my, my loot from the dead spot. All right, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Just like that. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you the spoiler. All right, I'm gonna the raffle's gonna end in 40 seconds. If you guys do not want spoilers, turn the stream off now because I'm ending the stream right after anyway. Anyway, long story short, there is um, a random event, a random encounter. This creepy guy, I think he's even called like creepy guy or something something, uh, and you can get a key from him that opens a door over here only during the event but you can you can you can you can uh hack through the wall or not, uh photo mode glitch through the wall um but you could talk to that guy the Ham um hampton samperstein or i already forgot his name the totally not an alien alien dude that's controlling the event All right, Uber. Hey, yeah, you won the event. Uber, congrats. And you are not on the team anymore, are you? Oh, you just like that. Are you? You were here. Oh, that no, that was uh, that was. JP, that was JP, right? Right, JP? Yeah, there you go. That's on winning. You get a pink asylum dress too, by the way. Right on. Um, it's not this. Oh yeah, this one. You get a key, a key card. Um. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, oh, I guess. Uh, anyway, there's a dude called Creepy Guy or Smiling Man. Smiling Man, I think's his name. It's a random encounter while this event is up. Um. And you get a key, and I guess the key goes away after the, you do the event. But anyway, spoilers. Turn the stream off now. If you don't want spoilers. I'll show you what it looks like inside once you get the key. If I can get in. Alright, let me check. Come on. Come on, dirty facey. And you get a buff. 
Well, I'm having some bad luck with this one. Uh, you get a buff against aliens for an hour. You are really being a tricky. And you got the alien blaster plans. Whee! Nice. Congrats, Giga. But yeah, you can only get access to this event uh, during the event. Or unless somebody opens the door. Um, and you can talk to him. This is the Homer Saperstein. How are you faring against the extraterrestrials? Do you have anything to help with the cause? Yes. I have recently developed an aerosol formula that boosts the performance of brain activity for a limited time. I will be able to help now. Alright, so I just got a... I don't know, it's like plus 10 damage to aliens or something. But I'll save some of this. You can talk to him about the whole alien event. And find out he's totally not an alien. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, you like, experiment on aliens and stuff in here. This whole thing. You can only get in here during the, uh, the alien event. So if you see a smiling man, I think's his name, or... Or something. He's just a random encounter, too. Sometimes you'll see him walking around some road somewhere, and you kill him, and he'll give you a key card. And, um... Got an alien stash box? Not yet. You can use the key, key card on this. But, it looks like, um... If you did it before... It must be a quest item. Um, once the event's over, it leads it from your bag. So I've had it killed him many times. Anywho, um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I am going to get some food in my belly. I'm going to take me a nap. And I will see you guys later. Okay, and let's put on the indie on the button, click on me, and let's go get some sleepy and nappies and stuff. There we go, live stream, and there we go.